The views, comments, and opinions of the following program do not necessarily reflect those of Morris Media Studios, MorrisMediaLive.com, or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. But I'm saying he was with New England. I, I watched that game. I remember that game. Yeah, I mean, he's like, a man, his shit got all twisted back. Oh, wait, we on. Who's clapping? That's what's throwing us off. Is that? Oh, that's the people clapping because Dan is not here. Wow, really? Uh, two, uh, first, my first crack. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, hey, shout out to Dan and um, D-Lay and uh, Daniel D Dugard. Daniel Dugard from yeah. the Bay. Yeah, they did. Uh, uh, I saw pictures. So mm -hmm. hope they all travel safe. Uh, I walk in, I see this little thing. They didn't get arrested. Oh, being out of oh right, okay. Uh, well, hey, well, well, what? Hey, happy New Year. What's happy about it? Exactly. I don't know, but I'm Lewis Dix. P.P. Jeff Arnold. Well, let's say this. I, where are you? Are you happy to be that he woke you up? Of course. Or she woke you up? Whoever's in charge. Hmm. I mean, how did you? How was your? Uh, it was wonderful. New Year's Eve. Watch the ball drop. It was good. I, I was I by chilled. myself. I, me too. I chilled. I mean, I was chilling. Just go through. Just chill. Watch. I watched. Um, we watched uh, that the thing with Morris Chestnut and them. What's the name the, of it? Um, Since you watched it, uh, you don't know. It's a the men. They had the the best man something. It was the mm -hmm. best man. Best man two. No, it was like <laughs> the series on. It's the best, best man. man final chapter. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. that's what. We, okay, yeah. Tell him, Jazzy. I didn't want to. I, 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 I just watched it because I. You didn't audition. Oh, for that's that? what you. Yeah. No. Yeah. Huh? That's what you was doing. What? Well, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So did he tell you? He calls me. Mm. He, ah. this, okay, this guy calls what me. What about your friend? Okay, exactly. he calls me. Wait a minute. First off, this guy. Jeff calls me. First of all, I picked up. You normally would not pick up. I had to call you three times to pick up. Okay, all right, but so, I still picked but up. I picked up. But I showed, though. But let me tell you why I picked up. It's a certain thing to do when you land with your girl okay. and you get a call mm -hmm. to pick up. Because mm -hmm. you got to let her know it's you. You got to let her know that, hey, hey, hey. This ain't a pseudo name. Getting up going to the bathroom. Right, right, right. Because a lot they, of dudes just get up and go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. you and know? ain't under the pseudo name. Like, okay, this is Jeff called. And, and a lot of women don't know. So you picked up on speaker. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he did and actually. He did. I did, and he was talking but, loud. Right, right, right. And, and 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 she was about to say something. I was like, Shh. "Oh, wow, um, that's man." Because she think that you know y'all like her, so she thinks she can have a conversation with y'all. <laughs> like, yo, we chill. do like her. So I'm like, Jeff's like, "Hey, your girl's down here." Da 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 da. Mm -hmm. Nikki Howard. Right. I was like, "All right, cool." Now I know I'm not going anywhere. And it really adds, gives you points when you say you're not going in front of your girl. Okay. You know, because your girls say go. Oh, you should go, you should go. And so I'm like, oh, yeah, she made, okay, cool. And then I say to Jeff, he's like, come on, I need your help, need your help, whatever. Right. I, first of all, he threw me by saying Mickey Howard. So you mm -hmm. really don't need my help. I did. Well, in the sense of that thing. Got you, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So I ain't thinking that way. I'm thinking... Mickey Howard, celebrity. All right, cool. All right, you know, she said, come down. She told Jeff, like, she told, tell Lewis to get his behind down here. Mm -hmm. Right? So I'm like, all right. So um, I said, look, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out this peacock thing. Okay. And that's what we were trying to do. Mm -hmm. And he well, thought I said. He was like, yo, we're trying to do this TikTok. I and didn't. I, I said like, peacock <laughs> thing because we were trying to. Streaming service. Yes. So right. we had to figure out how to do it. It's two old people trying to figure out streaming service. That could take a long time. Yeah. Yeah. But all, all right. I got from it was, my takeaway was, okay. Yeah, he said he you're, thought you're, I was on. So when no, I went no, to see no. him the next day, I'm like, what was he? 
He said, yo, he said you was on TikTok. I was like, well, no, no, t- I don't even know how to get on TikTok. No, but my my takeaway was, okay, my emergency ain't your emergency. Mm. If you had said, if you had been clearer, you said Mickey Howard. Right. You're right. If Come you had said Mickey and- Howard is having a cardiac arrest, I'd have said dial 911. <laughs> See? I mean. See, that's what I'm saying. My emergency, wow. not your emergency. Mickey Howard is not, I would never call you and say, hey, Mickey Howard, I need you. You didn't tell me. I told you. I, I thought was she was like, going to sing no. a new song or something. No, I told you what was going down, the dispute that was happening. And you was like, oh, okay. But that's your club. Okay, all right. See, see that's, that's what I'm saying? That's your friend. Yeah. He's in charge. The operative word was help. Yes. Okay, so I should have said I'm on my way. Yes. Right. That's what he did for you. It was New Year's Eve. Oh, oh wow. I didn't call him New Year's Eve. <laughs> you see? You off that day? Hey, man. <laughs> friends got friends to gotta manufacture. They got to figure out what's important. Okay. I mean, you gonna get, if, you, if some stuff's going to happen, let it happen, not New Year's Eve. Right, okay. right. It I wasn't mean, New Year's Eve. It was a Wednesday. What are you chewing? Because you, you are enjoying it, whatever it is. Oh, a banana? Okay. Oh, yeah. She had it all. Her mouth was full. I was like, oh, I like the way she bit that tip. <laughs> I like, all I saw was her jaw was full. I was like, oh, Lord. So I don't care about your potassium. <laughs> <laughs> She's back uh, there. I'm like, is that banana ripe? I'm hearing crunching. Uh, so, okay. So, uh, that's, I mean, but I had a, I, had a, I mean, I, I had a lot, I did a lot of thinking mm-hmm. New Year's Eve. Did y'all have champagne? Did y'all? Her and her yeah, sister did down. that. I, I didn't do anything. And I they still to... don't like you? The sisters still don't like you? In 2023? Well, yeah. It's getting a... better? Well, it's only been three days. Oh, wow. Yeah. Let's <laughs> see how it goes. You carry it over? Let's <laughs> see how you it still carry it over? Well, I mean, let's clean yeah. the slate and let's see how it goes. Yeah, roll over hate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that something? That roll over. Uh, before we go any further, because he passed. Did, were we on the show when he passed? Who? Boogie B. No. Okay. No. Mm. Uh, I, I want to do that Don't before going any further. Yeah. D, if you D, if you could, um, this is getting my gosh. Well, let's before we go any further. <laughs> Kevin McCarthy lost twice. Oh, did he? Did he? <laughs> twice. Oh, wow. They didn't voted twice, and he been. He got nine. <laughs> they going at it, but he gonna stay in there. That's how bad. Because I think you're the third for the Speaker of the House. Yeah, you're yeah, third, you're third pop, in line. You're third in line. Yeah. Oh yeah, so you but know. he just wants to get there and, and and replace it with Trump. That's all. Mm. He just wants to what? Replace himself with Trump. He wants to get Trump in. That's what he wants. He to wants do to now. get Trump in as what? As a speaker. <clears throat> Who told you that? That's what's going around. That's his whole strategy, is to become speaker. And then once he becomes speaker, it's just like okay, I want to give it to Trump. So then I make Trump third in line. Because then they can try to start the impeachment process. Mm. So that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to come in through the back door. All right. Okay. Well, well that's said. Cool. Well, well said. said. There you go. Thank you. Santos got exposed. Huh? That guy. Big time. Huh? Oh, man. He just, I his, mean, mom, his mom died like 15 times. <laughs> yeah. Damn. 9 I mean, this dude here, that dude Santos is. Woo. Woo. I mean, that's just. you talking about a. When your parents used to say a bold face lie. Man. Bold face. And he man. don't care. He's like, hey, I'm Jewish. The Brazilian government, they coming after him now. Who? The Brazilian government. Yeah. Okay, so uh, here's what I want to show, and what a great young man. Why are you slamming on the desk? I'm sorry. I, I slammed the bed and Coach was like, oh, it's D. It's D. Oh, uh, okay, you put an order in. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay. All right, my fault. Let's stop. We got a video list. So... <laughs> Excuse me. I, so I, I don't jump around. It, let me ask you a question. How, how does the person who dies is third, fourth? <laughs> That's. Hey. Well, no, I know I label, but I labeled them as I went, as I found them. So. Well, I, that's what I'm saying. I don't know the order until like right now. The theme is, oh, let's do him. But I didn't, I didn't see that D until. Okay. But, all right. Got you. That's too much. All right. Mm. So you got one Thank you, button to push or scroll. Oh, wow. I, I'm Ooh. sorry. Did I say that out loud? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> she said, hey, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage. Boogie B.
ask Dannon to do that voiceover first. But oh, Guy wow. took it. <laughs> Never stops. Uh, Never stops with you. Your what? rare form. Yeah. Well, no, we did. You just roll it over into 2023. It's just going to be continuous. Well, I didn't. I mean, that's why. Okay. Right. I reached out to, to Dan and to do it, and Dan said he, he had a He's golf busy. tournament. Yeah, he was, he, he was torn. Right? <laughs> and so, so I called Joe and said, hey, would you? Guy. Oh, Guy. Well, I called Joe, too. Joe was in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, so listen, this is a new year. Is it? That's what they tell us. Is that it? And, and this is a new year, and your wife's thing is still. <laughs> is that it with Boogie B? Why'd you, the why you rig that? We used to call it something else. Right. In rig it. Was that the tribute? In rig it. Was that the tribute to Boogie B? That was it? I, I liked how he did that. Okay. It wasn't a tribute, it was just I liked how he said, and coming to the stage is Boogie B. Okay. I did speak to, to Doc. How's he doing? It's good. Yeah. He was kind of pretending like he wasn't asleep. It's funny when you call old people <laughs> and they try to act like they're not asleep. I'm it's up. Like, man, yeah. It's 6 o'clock. <laughs> you, you in it, man. It's East Coast. It's, it's meal time. It's the difference from East Coast 6 o'clock <laughs> and West Coast 6 o'clock. Sharpen in my shank. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it's child time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get the shower first? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, really? You up next in the X yard, in the yard, you next. So I said, what's up, Doc? He said, hey. And I'm, and I, I said, uh, I kind of had a feeling like, oh, maybe he didn't know it was me. He uh -huh. did. I, I, know said, you know. I said, Louis Dix. He said, hey, coach. Oh, you call you coach now? Sometimes you call me coach. Sometimes you call me doctor. Mm -hmm. And then, you know. Um, for 2023, give him my number. Tell him to call me. Right. So tell him to call me. That's some things we need to talk about. <laughs> right. Yeah, and, and I've learned something. I think I, I watched Jeff. We were at the Improv, mm -hmm. and I watched Jeff interact with Craig Robinson. Yeah. And he had, Jeff has an authentic way to interact with people, <laughs> which I feel I don't. Okay. I, I feel like, and I feel I'm being authentic. I'm being myself authentic. Mm -hmm. But Jeff has an <laughs> authenticity <laughs> that makes people respond to him. Mm. Like, You're very they're dirty. not a celebrity when they're next to Jeff. Like, Craig Robinson is not a celebrity. Jeff treats him like he's a Chicago guy, and he just talks to him anyway. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, and I, I sat there and felt like, all you do is kiss his behind. That's why he, yeah. you know. Oh, wow. But then I thought, well, he, he, he did take me out on the road, not you. So <laughs> I guess I'm good. Wow. <laughs> so I guess I, I went and put, I, I turned around and put more chaps to go. <laughs> uh, it's like, oh, uh, excuse me, let me walk him to his car. Put on this butt brown. Yeah. <laughs> but no, uh, um, so um, he's been there all week, though. Yeah, he's, he did the, his um, New Year's Eve show. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, which uh, you know, so slept with a hundred men. I'm just looking at her list. Yeah, I saw that one. Who slept with a hundred? Neighbor, neighborly snitch. I've been watching that show, uh, Neighborhood Wars or whatever it's called. Yeah, stupid. Okay, so uh, it's Monday. No, it's not Monday. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. We have practice Monday. You don't have practice today? Uh, they got the day off? My brother's three the hard way. Okay. Chris, oh, that's, is that my dad? No, I don't know who Cressmont 8 is. They told me who that was. It's your dad. Okay, J him sent a request to be in your live video. What do I do? <laughs> He's going to be on live this day. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. I mean, I don't. Do I know him? Let's see. You will afterwards. You know, yeah. Let's see. A, a view request. I'm trying to view request and nothing's happening. Guess what she said. Mm. Okay. This says what? Who is this person? This is uh, wants to be in this live video. Go live with. Anyone can watch it. Okay. So I I push yes. Okay. So he's gonna be on there with you. I don't see him. He like pop you. up in a second. Can I take him off? No. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, did you guys make any New Year's intentions or oh, thank you. some things you want to leave behind and I are left behind called, in 2023? I thought it was called resolutions. I say intentions because you, you intend say that? to That's do politically it. politically correct now. Because <laughs> oh, okay. you intend to intent, do it. Yeah. That's a good okay. point. Or do you have one? No. I, I decided I was going to 
just not overthink things. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, my daughter said something the other day, and I just like, then don't watch it. Oh, wow. Because I sent a video or something in the chat to say watch, and she's like, Dad, please. And I was like, well, don't watch it. Mm-hmm. Normally, I would have felt a certain kind of way. Yeah. But then I'm like, don't well, watch it. What was she watching? Huh? Was she catching up on some porn? No, it was a video that I sent, you know, to her and Lewis <laughs> just to laugh, you know. <laughs> Little video. Oh, well, okay, what happened? Fine. Let me be honest. It was a video of a little baby running to another baby, mm. and it maybe I had been thinking about baby Sydney, our daughter that passed, mm-hmm. and I kid? thought that hey, that would. I thought it was her running to Lewis and Peyton when they got to heaven. Okay. Or running to us, me and the mom, when we got to heaven. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. what I felt. Now I didn't say that when I sent it to video right, to right. Peyton and Lewis because I didn't want to. But then it kind of hurt me when Peyton said that because. What'd she say? She said, well, yep, Dad, please. She's just, Peyton is just very honest mm. and blunt. As a feminist. Yeah, and, mm. and, and sometimes you could get the thing that she just doesn't like you. Mm. You know, I know she loves me, but Peyton is just, I guess, like I was when I was younger. Or like you still are. I don't care about people. You could follow me, you get on my road. She's a Taurus like me. Okay. And. When is her birthday? April 24th. Okay. So, I, you know, where Lou is more, you know, like Lou will pick up, Lou will text me back. But Peyton. She doesn't do all that? No, nah, no. Nah. Welcome to the club. I mean, she's like. <laughs> <laughs> See how I feel? If she needs something, she'll respond. But basically, other than yeah. that, I won't hear from him. And I thought it was just me, but her mom's like, same thing. Okay. Right. But but their mom insists. Like, you're going, you're going to do this, call me every Sunday, whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't know. Man. But that's just, I don't well, know. Well, I don't have that problem because they text me regularly. Who? Mm-hmm. The kids? Yeah. The cheering. And the ex. Oh, yours? Mm-hmm. Yours. Yours. No, they don't. You want to see? I got receipts. <laughs> I know that. You want to see the thread? <laughs> I know. Unless Lou is trying to get into the dime. <laughs> um, but Because uh, Lou, he, I don't know. I, I think we got to. Can't say nothing bad about Lou. That's my dog. Yeah, that's my dog too. That's but my dog. It, at that's one my point, you gotta. Nah. Everybody needs to be pushed a little bit. Mm, he yeah. good. And I just think he's at that point where I'm gonna have to. No, he's good. Now you can be good. You can't be good for so long. Yeah, you can. You gotta get. You off gotta that. go at his own pace. His own. He got. You know. He can't march to your drum. Yeah. Well, he's got to be marching though. I mean, you know. Can't be sitting there. I mean, you know, mm. he's figuring things out. All right. All so right. you have to allow him to do that. Like right. I told, I was in contact with my son. And I'm just like, you so know, you spoke to your son. Yeah. It's, now, what it's happened? A, it's a lot of anger. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of anger. Now, is it justifiable? Did you, did you, did on you his, feel? He thinks, you know. Well, did he have any good points? Did you agree with anything he said when it came to yeah, being angry? Yeah, a, a few. There were a few. Did you apologize? Yes, I did. And he receive it? Yeah. Okay. But then there's still, you know, major, you know, issues that he has to get over. As this was on the phone, right? Yes, yes. So now, do you think it's a different conversation? I believe it is when it's in person. Much, I mean, because you, you, you can read the body language. You get to have eye contact. Right. You know, right. and it's the presence of, you know, the temperature and the tone. And then you eventually, if things are... And the energy. And yeah, and, yeah, and if things go well, then you... That was the thing that he did when he came by, like, right after the pandemic. He stopped by. Mm-hmm. And that was one of his biggest things. He was like, that's why I was like apprehensive about coming in. Okay. Because I felt your energy. You want to fuck me up. That's, mm-hmm. the, that's what he said? Yeah. And I was like, no. Nah, okay. I'm past that. Somebody yeah, sent yeah. me something. I don't know who this is. O-B-N-O-I-T-S underscore him. Tell my brother TDP Happy New Year and that I love him. He's my real little brother. So, oh, wow. So no gay stuff here. Okay. Thank you, Lou. You know who that is? On your live? <laughs> it's not live. It's just, right. Okay, good. It is live. On your live. What yeah. did I? I saw. I Happy was watching, New Year. I was watching some. Oh, I was. And I swore I was like, this is TDP's character. She's into the Medea thing. And Medea has a movie, and the guy that plays, well, it's him. He plays the old guy with the beard. Yeah. He's talking to the old ladies, not the beard, but. The, the white hair dude. That's supposed to be her husband, her, her, her brother or something. Her brother that's living with her. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was laughing about you. Okay. All right. All right. So uh, we're here. 2023. We got to get going. What's, what's your... You, you had a well, resolution. We just bypassed with my 
conversation with my son. So well, it's okay. it's well, it's not like he's going to keep calling you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. What happened? No, no, go ahead. What I'm sorry, no, Dan. No, I'm sorry, Dan. Oh wow. <laughs> no, because we always cut Dan and off. So, <laughs> so go the, ahead. Chat, the chat room wants to know, Jeff, because you know they've been business, following no. it. Okay, so what another, happened? So what happened? That's another resolution so he called that you? I'm gonna stop right there. What? All the touching and the poking. I'm about to start knocking motherfuckers out. Who touched Ooh. you? You just did. Because you're my friend. We beyond that. I'm Not according to Mickey Howard. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Receipts. Yeah, that that's really aggravating to me now. What? I mean, with, you know, does that happen to you a lot? What, what do you mean? What, yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> see? <laughs> <laughs> no, when people talk to you. I'm an athlete. I'm a coach. So we're used to doing this. We're used to saying this. You got Because you can get to know the player. And if yeah, you're such a good player, you should be used to coaches... Yeah, but it's hey, what's just, up? Good, you all right, man? You good? That's yeah, how you. That's how I feel. People talking to you, doing like that, though. That's because I love you and I know you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I mean, you've come to my attic when I was at a low point in my life. So why wouldn't I feel like I could not do that? Mm -hmm. So yeah, check yourself on that. Ooh. You just got one more time to do it. Do what? And then this, the rating is really gonna go up on this show. Ooh. Well, you think you you think you had a Zoe show and, and Aerie oh. Spears? <laughs> <laughs> You think I'm gonna just sit there like Aerie Spears? Well, you don't have no choice. You're and, gonna be sleep. Oh no, no. It's obvious. This this is a Philly chin. Ah, Philly chin. It's Philly chin, boy. Ah. Philly chin. No, but that's one of the things I. Uh, I'm stopping. You got a now. Chicago chin. Yeah. And it's All you gotta do up. is hit it three times. It's out like mm. Candyman. Three times. But I got that knockout though. What? I got that knockout though. Man, you be get you be yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, not yeah, nobody that's up. Yeah, okay. Dicks ain't never. I got knocked out one time. You got gloves in the car? Nah, but I'll bring them nah, next I know week, you though. Didn't have no <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring them next week, though. Okay. okay. I'll pack them next week. Yeah, ain't nobody fighting. We too old to be fighting. Nah. Nah, I'm too old to be fighting. Uh, I'm you calling got... code three. Uh, <laughs> oh. That's, that's good. I saw. Uh, okay, so um, go ahead. So you, you, he called you. Let's start no, we from good. how No, we good. We no, good. No, 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 no. We, we, good. No. we he good. called you. Yeah, and what was the first thing you hadn't talked to him? How long? No, it was it was uh, it had been like maybe a year and a half. Wow! So yeah. a year and a half. So what's the first thing? Well, no, his the the, the call led up to his mother calling me. Okay, so his mom called you first. Yeah. And what is she, and how long had you what how long had it been since it you had talked to her? Been a few a couple of years with her. Wow. Okay, so you yeah. think are you thinking after two years something happened? No. You're not nervous. No. All right. So she says I already like, know it's some bullshit. All right. Hey. So phone picks up. What do you say? I'm like yo. How you doing? Do you know who this is? Of course I know who this is. That's what she said. Yeah. Okay. What's the name on the caller ID? It's no name. It's this name. bitch. <laughs> it's just the number come up. <laughs> just the number come up. Okay. okay. But you recognize the area yeah. code. Okay. So I recognize the number. So yeah. I'm just Why like, she, okay, she's not in your phone? For what? Hmm. Well, because she's your, your child's mother. That's his mother. Hmm. Yes. and That's his mother. Yes. And then you two should always That's be in contact. That, 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 about what? In case something happens. Okay, well, you know, they know how to get in contact right. with me. He knows the number when he sees yeah. it. Yeah. All right, go I ahead. I recognize it. Yeah, but you can't, you can't. You, there you go, stop. Don't say what but you can't do. You can't, do. you can't, you But you don't have her number. Stop telling me what I can't do. Okay, let me ask you a question. Like yes. right now, you don't have her number, right? I know her number. You know it by heart? Yes. Oh, so she. Mm. He has the number. I know yeah. the number. So when the number comes up, it's like, okay, what, my first instinct is like, okay, well, there's some bullshit right here. Yeah. Not as, okay. not I hope everything's okay. No, never. Go ahead. All right. So what happened? And it was just, you know, it was the picture that she saw of Jordan's 31st birthday at the dime. Okay. So there was a picture circling on the internet of. Yeah, that triggered her. You. Oh, wow. Daryl. Daryl. Jordan, Jordan. And Luke. And my son. Yeah. Okay. And, and she so what was happened? just like, what kind of bullshit is that? Mm. This is a Christian woman. Yes. Okay. That was the first thing. And I was just like. smiling yeah. on this picture. <laughs> Y'all looking happy. You look old as fuck. You know, and Daryl and that. And. The, uh, is that Jordan and Lewis' son? What the fuck? Where's your son at? Why are you always with him? I'm like, oh, okay. Well, he's the one that chose not to be in that picture. He opted out. So he has to make amends. And then, you know, you have to go through that. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, what he said to me. See, he's never disrespected you. He disrespected me. So he has to find his way back to me. I'm the parent. I'm not the friend. You was his friend. I'm not his friend. I'm his dad. So he got to come back to me. So, no, you need to reach out. Nah, nah, I'm not doing all that. She said you need to reach out to him. Yeah, I'm not doing that. So he he needs to do that. So hung up after that, maybe 15 minutes later, then he calls. So that's the follow-up call. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, so now you his his phone is his number is in your phone. Yes. So what's his name this? is in my phone. What yeah. is it? It's Julius. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be son. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Well, no. It's Julius. Okay. Yeah. So and then we got to talk, and then we talked for like what's four hours. First thing hours, he so. said, he hadn't talked to you in over a He's year. He's like, half. "Hey, Dad, what's going on?" I'm like, "Hey, man, how you doing?" Like, "We good." I'm like, "All right." You know, I'm like, "Your mom just called me." He's like, "Yeah, I just hung up from her." Oh, okay. So let's just get to the heart of it. And That's talk- what you said. Yeah. Man, I ain't got, life is too short. I ain't got time for all the bullshit. All it's right. like, okay, so let's get you, to you it. Call, he says what? You call for a purpose. Right. Okay. You call for a purpose. And it was a it was an emotional four hour conversation. Mm-hmm. You know? And what I was proud of myself was that I listened. I didn't raise my voice. Mm-hmm. I didn't curse. You know, I I didn't interrupt. Uh, may, uh, occasionally, a few times, maybe, yeah, just to correct, mm-hmm. you know, and I just let him like, you know, vent. Yeah, he, he and mm-hmm. that's what he did, rant and vent. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, cool. And at the end of it, I was like, you don't know me like you think you do, because he had said you, a lot of mean things to you. That's cool. I said, you know of me, but you don't know me. Mm-hmm. All you know is with the lies that you've been told. Right. So, my suggestion to you is come over here and get to know me. You know, let's sit down and get to know me because everything that you're saying is not true. There's a reason and a justification and a causation to why I put you on punishment. Causation, I like yeah, that. It's, it's a reason. You're just looking at the, the end result and the torment that you think you may have suffered, but you're not looking at the cause of what led you to be on punishment. I just didn't wake up every morning and say, you on punishment, motherfucker. Right, right. You had to I'm do not something. Putin. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have to do... You had to do something. That's funny. So you have to, you know, word... Where's your accountability at in all of this? You know, you hold my feet to the fire and all of this. Okay, cool. You know, you wasn't there for the... No, I was there for the basketball. I was there every step of the way for the basketball. You made the conscious decision not to come work out with the varsity when you had the opportunity after your freshman year. Mm-hmm. You made that choice to go with your mom for the summer. When you had the... Ch- when he, you know, you sat there that Friday, the last day of school, and you shook that man's hand. And you said, I will be at practice with you all Monday morning. He said that I want you to be my point guard for the varsity going into your sophomore year. Mm-hmm. We both was excited. We went to dinner that night. Mm-hmm. Your mom came by. She interrupted that. And, you, and then there's, you know, yeah, well, that's my motherfucking mom. Okay. That's why I just said to you, I wasn't going back and forth. Right. You chose. You got a, cho- you got a choice to make. Mm-hmm. This is how life is. You know, and then I had to tell him, I said, man, everything that you learned in the house with me under the roof, I taught you stuff, how life is. A lot of shit going to be fair. A lot of shit going to be unfair. Mm -hmm. A lot of shit going to be balanced. A lot of shit going to be unbalanced. Some shit going to go your way. Some shit not going to go your way. Mm -hmm. There's going to be ups. There's going to be downs. But it's going to make you, it's going to prepare you for life and to make you a better person. So you be able to deal with situations. (coughs) You know, so he was like, you know. I felt like, you know, I'm all fucked up, you know, because you had me in solitary confinement. You know what the fuck solitary confinement <coughs> mean? Of course I do. Yeah, of course, you know. You took away my phone. You took away my TV. Yeah, I was supposed to. And you told him not to drop soap. You gave him rules. I gave him rules. Yes. yes. All that. Yeah. You know, I you know, I didn't put my hands on you. Yeah, but that, you know, is it, 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 it is the mental torture. Mm. I'm just like, hey, man, well, you got to get over this that shit. This is a 26-year-old you're talking to. Yes. But I had to look at it and say, okay, you know, you got a lot of anger right now that you need to work out. You know, his whole mindset was that because I'm free, you know, I'm friends with the ex-NBA player, a star, that me and him cool, that I was supposed to automatically just go and talk to him and ask him to be put on the team. Right. And I was like, that shit, it don't work that way. Mm-hmm. It doesn't work that way. You know, you got to earn it. You know, his whole, one of his issues was that, you know, you stopped supporting me with the basketball, you know, and I'm glad you did because I felt your negative energy. It's like, yo, man, I just told you there's a worth ethic to this shit. Mm -hmm. You just can't get up and just, you got the guy given talent from your grandfather, your two uncles, and me. So you have that. Now you just got to put it all together and you got to want it. Mm-hmm. You was one of those that didn't want it. Other kids wanted it. Yeah. So, and I mean, and 
you know, I just listened to that and it was just, you know. But the thing I wasn't tolerating was that, you know, the disrespect, the nigga and all of that. I, hey, man, yo, hold up. Mm -hmm. I'm not a nigga. Yeah. I'm your dad. He called you that? Yeah, he's like, nigga. And I'm like, yo, man, yo, check yourself who you're talking to. Mm -hmm. Check yourself. I'm not a nigga, yo. You know, he's like, oh, yeah, my bag, my bag. No, nah, it ain't your bag. Mm -hmm. Respect who you're talking to. You know, that's the problem. You know, you've gotten away from the respect aspect of this relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to, you know, reel it back in. You know, and that's when he was just like, yeah, you know, I know you're still working out. And, you know, that's why I left when I came over there that time and I met your girl and all of that. You know, I felt your energy. You know, I didn't want to get into it with you. Get into me with, like, what? I ain't want to fight. You know, homie, mm -hmm. you ain't got enough to take me on. I'm like, so why would you think, you know, I would put harm, you know, put hands on you? Yeah. Because you did before. And I'm a man now. Okay. Mm. All right. Well, we're not going to even have that conversation. Mm. Wow. We're not going to have that. Mm. So we left it like that. And I mean, you know, just back and forth, you know, but it, you know, the, the, the next few conversations got a little better. Got a little better. So Good. now we're working on, you know, getting together and having dinner. Yeah. So, I mean, you know. There's room and there's hope. Good for you. Um, he wants to sit down and talk to certain people, though. Like who? He want to talk to you. For what? I'm just saying. You know, that's his thing. He want to talk to Daryl. Talk to him about it. You know? <laughs> talk to him about it. I got to eat. Hey. See? You want to talk to my mom? You know? He need to talk to himself first. And yeah. his, his own mama. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? But that's, you know, that's his version. Yeah. Evidently, he, he, he didn't see it clearly. Because he wears glasses, right? No. No, oh, he should. Why? So he could see better. Oh, okay. Wow. Because he's looking at you all wrong. Yeah, that's what I told him. Um, you need to give him a fitting off Frappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so listen. Um, Topped off with some crack on it. The guy didn't. Uh... No, but the bottom line is I'm glad we talking. The Absolutely. dialogue is there. Yeah. So yeah. the well, I'm glad you talked to. The, the uh -huh. dialogue is there, and the love is there. As well, love is that's you know. Nice. So like I told him, I'm like you know, I'm always gonna love you, and you know, as a young man that's growing up, you know, you have that right to disagree with me. That's your right. You yeah. choose, yeah. you know, but you have to be respectful as that too. Did you hug poetess when you came in here? That ain't none of your business. Well, mm. I can tell because it's makeup right there. You just it doesn't look like her complexion. Oh, fuck, man, damn. Man. It's not my makeup. I don't wear makeup. Ooh. That's what I'm saying. It's not yeah. oh, okay. That's hooker red right there. I know exactly, that color. Yes. Forty <laughs> ninth and Figaro. <laughs> there you go. Must have spent the night. You know, girl, that's the police. You better get away from that car. <laughs> <laughs> he must have spent the uh, night. He rolled up. I with can't get nothing from a dove out here. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, makeup on right there. Sure. Wish you would be crying on your shoulder. Exactly. He must have told her the Julia story. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> and she wow. cried. Well, wow. good. I'm glad y'all talked. Um, got to start somewhere. Got to start somewhere. Yeah. Now, your any for you? What? Resolutions? Nah. Yeah, yeah they just just going through this maze. Do you have it? Do I have what? Resolutions. There's a couple, there's like maybe one or two that I'm like, I'm going to work on, but then I'm going to get away from too. I, I don't, I mean, I'm. You like the touching, I mean, like. like What? Like the people hugging you and all that. I'm just like, I'm past that. Well, I'm evidently the, inter is this a phone? Whose phone is that? What's your phone? Oh, okay, call it. I was just trying, like, whose phone is ringing? <laughs> Because that's no, that's not normally the, the ringtone, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's been a whole year. Yeah, you exactly. forgot already? It's that fitting all kicking in. Yeah. <laughs> you need to go back to crack. Okay, call. <laughs> fitting all too strong yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, call. I didn't Damage write. in your brain cells. <laughs> hey, call her. <laughs> yeah. What's oh, up? What's up, Dad? Hey, man, I want to wish all you guys a happy new year. I want you to be safe all year long. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me. You got. Okay. You 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 eighty two. You get ready to turn what? Eighty two or eighty three? Eighty two. January twelfth. All right. So. Pop oh, coming up. So yeah, he's going. He's supposed to come down. All right. Um. Now. That's so a, Dad, how do you feel? At, for you. How do you feel at eighty two? With both his hands. Well, mentally, you know, very about almost the same. You know, I'm still just mentally confirmed. 
about where I've always been, you know. You know, a little slow. I don't multitask anymore. I just do one thing at a time, fast. That always makes it work better, you know. Oh, okay. sure. There you go. And that's a good thing for anybody when you try to do too many things. But other than that, you know, physically, you know, a little authorized here and all that there, but I'm still playing golf and everything. But it's very important, the mental part, you know, yeah. stay sharp. Let me ask you, a chest, so you know? how's pussy at 82? <laughs> Pardon me? How's pussy? See his hearing going bad. <laughs> I was pussy at 82. Pretty good. Okay. Okay. All right. You ain't taking them pills or nothing? You finding the holes? <laughs> well, I still wake up with my hands down there. Oh, okay. oh <laughs> Like an adolescent. Yeah. Are you a lefty you or a righty? Like yeah. Are you ambidextrous? Yeah Jeff, yeah, Jeff, I'm glad you got to talk to your son. It's always a good thing. Yeah. Louis looking at me because we talking to you like that. See, I can't talk to my dad like that. See, so. Oh, yeah, your dad's going, hey, Chad. Oh. So, <laughs> yeah, so Jeff's got to ask you certain questions because his, his daddy's no longer here. So, Wow. Uh, but wait, I wanted to ask you, okay. Um, Am I going to be like you at 82? That's what you want to ask him? No, I want to know, because I talk to you a lot, and a lot of your friends are leaving and passing on. They're gone. Yeah, yeah they did. The last one left. Yeah. <laughs> you the last one left? Yeah, that's why when I walk out that door in the morning, I look both ways before I get out of there. No, well, <laughs> isn't Frog still there? Yeah, yeah. Just like down there, it's raining like up here a lot. No, I said Frog. What are your friends <laughs> named Frog? Oh, he's been there. He's been he there. Been dead. Oh, he's been there. But wait, what's what's the one that was that's in a district attorney or something? Uh, the one that kept him out of jail. Everybody, everybody's gone except uh, Curtis. You know. And, uh, right, Curtis was the one that was in law enforcement, right? Yeah, he was a FBI guy and stuff. Yeah, he, he's still here. We talked to quite a, quite a bit, you know what I mean? But in reality, the ones out here that I met out here hanging out with, they gone. Oh, damn. You know I mean, I know, man. You know, like I say, it's just real. Uh, what you doing? Hard. Like I say, I don't know why I'm still here, but, you know, I ain't going nowhere if I don't have to. You're killing all them snitches. Take um, out. Let me let me. What do you what do you? Wait a minute, you can have your high school reunion on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> right. You, granddaddy, your, your father. Uh, did you know him well? You know, you know I, actually, you know, I met my father when I was twenty four. Wow, the same age, man. Wow. And then we yeah, hung out a lot. Way. He owned a bar in Philly. So, you know, and I hung out with him a lot. You know. Well, he hit the numbers one time. And he gave me about three grand. Oh. You don't remember, but I gave it to your mother, you know, and uh, for you guys. And uh, no, we we, we, missed, we, we we missed that one. That, that three grand that payment. payment. All right. Uh. Well, I never, I had, you know, I never really met him until I was adult myself. Or well, he did borrow some money from me when I first met him. Oh, damn. So wait a minute. How old were you when you met him? Twenty four. Twenty four. Twenty four. Twenty something like that. Dude. Oh, you were twenty four. Okay, and and yeah, wow. I was young. Yeah, yeah. You know, he was uh, and. Uh, and I had just, you know, had never met him. I had never met him. Well, how did you meet him? How did you come about meeting him? Well, my mother, you know, she uh, she gave me some information about him. You know, he had a, he owned a little bar somewhere in West Philly. And I went over there and we started talking, you know, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I kind of just wanted to bond with him a little bit. But now, know, he, So at 24 years old, you walk up to this man. Did he recognize you or know of you? No, no, he didn't know me. He didn't know me. And I, played, I had some brothers. By him and everything, a lot of little different stuff. You know, what I mean, that's that's I'm gone with that. That's that's way way back. Like I said, yeah. it was it was yeah. good to meet him. You know, what I mean, because you always want to know who your dad is. You know, that's simple as that. You know. Okay. All right. And uh, but we got along well because by that time I was street and he just gave me some more streets. You know. So that's See, what that there you was. go. I wish y'all to pass that down to him. Mm -hmm. To who? Me? Yeah, because it stopped at you, pops. Yeah. What the street? Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't. I I Louis, he had street. I yeah. never forget that. Who was that you knocked? Who was that guy you knocked out, Louis? And that was a girl. <laughs> no, nah, that wasn't no girl. That wasn't no girl. He just came in Louis' face like a Well, he was mentally challenged. He dropped his ass. Yes. Yeah, no, he was in college then, weren't you? Yeah, but no. He must that, have had My dad palsy. taught me. He taught me how to play chess. That was the street he taught me how to play chess. And that was your strategy. Right. Yeah, yeah, in college, I had to. I had to put some hands on some people. Uh -oh. Was, oh, oh, as a dancer? No. Yeah. <laughs> Would you ever tell him about you used to hang out with me to speak easy at nighttime? 
three or four o'clock in the morning. You was around 15 uh, years old. Yeah, he told us. This is a call back for any uh, listeners in Sonoma that went to Sonoma. If you remember Lewis knocking you out, please call in the show. <laughs> please call in. <laughs> All right, Dad. Love you, man. Thank you. Me too, man. Like Love I'm you. I'm really trying to make it down. I hope the weather, and I'm going to try to get down there Wednesday next week. Okay? No, we All cool. Right. We cool. Yeah. I got a All vow right. for you when you come down. All right. <laughs> you guys, make sure, make sure be safe down there. All right. Later. All right. So, Papa Dick, an Apollo legend. The yeah. thing I've learned about when you're talking to your parents and they're older, mm-hmm. and I learned this too with talking with Doc, you have to be very clear. Yeah. They have to wait till they're, they have their listening ears on because they know so much. Yeah. Yeah. And when they start to tell you a story, you got to just be quiet and then you got to politely mm-hmm. cut them know, off. Be clear. No, no, you never yeah. cut them off. Yeah. You let them talk because they got gem. If you, if you cutting off at somebody over 80 and you're. Not 80, then you need to shut up. Absolutely. Yeah, that's true. You, you Absolutely. need to shut up. That wisdom. Yeah, that's part of the problem now. Is we don't listen yeah. as much as we talk, because we think we know everything, especially the young kids. And that's their energy. They think they know everything, you know, so. Well, weren't you like that at, at 20? No. I thought I knew what I thought I knew, mm-hmm. but I never would say some of the things that I hear some of these kids now saying to people who know and are educated. Yeah. And they're coming from their space of ignorance saying, I don't care what you say. You don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know da 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 And you're like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I do know. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I do know what you think you already know. Right. And the problem is, is whenever you challenge them, someone's telling you you're stunning them. You're not. And I'm sure I've done that, too, with you, with your son, that you should do this, you should do that. Several times, yeah. And I, most of the time I was right. Mm. But uh, no, <laughs> Let you no, tell it. Yeah, right. Exactly. That's why I'm in the situation I'm in now. <laughs> But uh, No, but I heard an interesting conversation when I stepped on my porch yesterday. This young woman, she had to be in like her late 20s. She was walking her dog and, you know, her dog stopped to defecate on my grass. Mm-hmm. And she was like trying to act like she didn't have no bags. But I heard a conversation with her mom on the phone. Mm-hmm. And just the conversation, I was like, damn, it's like no respect for your parents. She's like, that's why you a fucking bitch, and that's why, you know, mm. I put you in a hotel and shit. You can't be coming to my fucking house and doing this and this. I live the way I want to live, and my house is messy. Leave it the fuck alone. I know where shit is at. You know, you've always been that bitch in my life. And I'm just like, wow, talking to your mom like that? Reckless. But that's the conversation that they have now. I would never talk to my mom that way. Never. We wouldn't be alive if we talked to our mom like that. The aunt or somebody on the side would have taken you out. Exactly. I yeah. mean, you just, you just, it was just. And that's what I was trying to tell my son, you know, is like, that, that was the difference in our conversation, even with, what I had with my dad and even with my mom not. You know, I cursed with my parents, but I never cursed at my parents. Yeah. And yeah, Peyton cursed. Peyton's a curse. Peyton's mm. a now, curse. Now, does she, has she, she cursed just, at you? Or does she curse with you? She, when she did curse at me, she got out the car. Oh, look at you. She was mad. Yeah. She got out the car you and put just. Her out? No, she got out the car. I was like, Peyton, get back in the car. It was in the middle of the road. Yeah. She got out of the car, slammed it, and then crossed it. And... Did you keep going? Yes. <laughs> Uber. Oh, okay. It was in the daytime. It was nighttime. No, but it was in the daytime. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like they don't kidnap in the day? Yeah, but, but I mean, that's, I mean, no. I mean, I. Now, is that where you got your taking joke from? The, the moment? The taking joke? Oh, you gonna get taken? Yeah. I don't know where that. I don't know how that joke came, man. I mean, well, the joke came honestly because she had been to Europe, and I love the movie. If you yeah. get taken, it's such an easy joke. You get taken, you took. It just you know, certain that joke. I love that. People love that joke. But it's. <laughs> I mean, no, I let her get out because she was she was grown. And she made a choice. How was she? How was she at the time? She was she was at least 22, 23. She was out of college. Now, how's your relationship? Is it, it who's you and Peyton? Are y'all good? I mean, we good enough to the point where she just called and said, um, "Are you gonna um, can me you and Lou go to dinner and and are oh. you gonna pay for it?" Wow, mm. there you go. Can I come? Huh? Can I no. come? No. Like, yeah, if you pay for it. Oh. And I'm like, I'm I'm like hit her back. Like you guys might want to take me to dinner. Yeah, yeah. You know, but it's just I mean I'm the I'm the soft parent. See, their mom is hard like you. Th- their mom is hard. I mean, she's strict. She's like she told Lewis straight up, "You can't come live with me." Okay. Because you don't, because you drink too much and you party too much, and you're gonna disrupt my house. Mm. Now that hurt him. Did it? Yes. That Especially when she had some little white girl living there, uh, Peyton's friend. 
No, that wasn't. And I'm sorry, I shouldn't say white girl. It was girl. I mean, it hurt me when I told her to tell him. It hurt yeah. me too. Because I was there. And yeah. I was like, I didn't want him to see that. But you can have the hand me ups. Oh, wow. Or I don't want to say hand me downs. That's right, 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 right. So you can have it. You know, just let me know. Already? Damn, it's only 12. Oh, it's 12.45. 25% of the couples in this country. It doesn't even say that on the sheet. Little bitty legs up. Oh. That monkey. Oh, okay, we were actually 10 minutes over. Okay. We should have done it 10 minutes ago. Growing up as a kid, I never understood the Oh, okay. I still want the remix. <laughs> I, period I, period I. Yeah, there you go. What happened to that versus? Is that still on iTunes? Uh, <laughs> yeah, my album's on iTunes. Pick it up. Simply Poetry. Are you in the by top? the Poetess. Okay. Mm. Are you in the top I got 200? 212 streams last year. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good. That's one more than... Yeah, you didn't make it top 200 uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. voices. Oh, yeah. Speaking of that... Um, <laughs> Bill, not Billboard, but uh, Rolling Stones put out their top 200 singers, best singers of all times. Can you guys name the top five? Uh, Male or female? Both. Um, Aretha Franklin's got to be up there. Okay, my Mount Rushmore of males would be Marvin. Oh, you said females or males? She said top Both. five. Top five. Top okay. five greatest singers of all time. Aretha I'll, Franklin, Whitney Houston. Marvin Gaye. No. Um, uh, I would yeah. hope Sam Cooke. Yeah, that's what I'm... Otis yeah. Redding. Yeah. And... Um, they going to put Mariah Carey up there. I don't know why. She's not in the top five. Okay. You No. You guys are pretty much on point. Um, Aretha Franklin was number one. Has to be. Whitney Houston, number two. Okay. Sam Cooke, number three. Mm-hmm. Okay. Billie Holiday, number yeah. four. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mariah Carey, number no. five. What? I was joking. Yeah, no. Mariah Carey. Only because of Christmas. But a lot of people were upset because... You got to put Marvin in. Like, legend... Marvin Gaye uh, came in at... Uh, he came... Oh, he came in at number 20. Mm. Who's above him? Yeah, exactly. Who's above him? Uh, Frank Sinatra. No. Blue eyes. Yeah. Celia Cruz. Elvis Presley. Wow, really? Prince at 16. What? Prince? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is number 86. Did you hear that? Prince, number 16. And then there was this big news because they snubbed a few people like Celine Dion. Yeah. Dion. Um, Pink. Uh, Madonna didn't make the list. Where was R. Kelly at? <laughs> I don't want no kids. <laughs> Make the list. Nah, what? Stupid. <laughs> It's Blasphemy. Yeah, exactly. Because of the Justin shit that he Justin Bieber through. didn't make the list. Nat King Cole oh, didn't yeah. make wow. the list. All right, well, that's enough of that list then. <laughs> Move on. Lord, um, speaking Cole. of list, um, Jeff has uh, bought up a photo that he feels. Jeff, you want to go into that since we're speaking of list? No. We, who shouldn't. We'll show the photo right now. Yeah. To the... Who do you think shouldn't be on that list? Okay, let's go by the row. By the row? Yeah, the top okay, row. The top row is Red Fox, Richard Pryor, uh, Martin, Martin Lawrence, Lawrence Eddie and Eddie Griffin. Griffin. I'm fine with that row. Yeah. No, I'm not. Okay, who would you take off? Okay, um, uh, Martin. You take Martin off? Yes. Okay. Not enough right. body. Not enough body of work as far as stand up. What? As far oh. as stand up. As far as I mean, between TV show. him and Eddie Griffin. Is that Eddie yeah, Eddie Griffin is a, has a stronger stand-up. I'm saying, can anybody, can these guys walk in front of a white audience and black audience and entertain them? Yes. That's Eddie Griffin. That's, that's Richard Pryor. That's Red Fox. Okay, not Martin go, Lawrence. Let's go with, the, okay, so we agree. The first row, how do you feel about the first row? I like the first row. Okay, I like the first row. You take off Martin. Yes. Okay, the second row. Eddie, John, Jamie, and Chris. Right. John like, Witherspoon's going off. We're talking about stand-up. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. John so, Richardson. so that's the criteria. Just stand. Just pure stand up. Because that doesn't. Uh, you don't want the full body of work. TV. TV okay. Full. Movies. Okay. Full body of work. Okay. Then you have to keep Martin on there on the first one. <clears throat> no. Okay. That's for a yeah. Was, okay. Was beast. Okay. Okay. He would top Eddie Griffin. Okay. But if it's if it's not if it's just entertainment, not stand up. No. If it's the full body of work. Full body of work. So you keep the first row the way it is. 
No. Okay. I'm taking Eddie Griffin off. Okay, all right. So we, me and TDP, we agree with the first row. Okay, right. the second yeah. row is... Everybody can stay as far as body of work. Okay, the third row? Body of work, D.L. Ugly's got to come off. Is that Kevin Hart? Yeah. Cedric? Kevin now, Hart. the best actor on this list is Cedric the Entertainer. Best actor. Who can, who can go from comedy to drama in a heartbeat and make you cry. Who on here can make you cry with their talent dramatically? Kaz did it with I Spy. No, nah, he didn't make you cry. Okay. I'm talking about dramatic. I'm talking about dramatic. All right, so... Okay, so now the next row? Who, the next row is Steve, Paul Mooney. Oh. Mike Epps. Oh, who? that's easy. Charlie Murphy's got to go. Charlie Murphy? Yeah. And Bill Bellamy's right next to him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Right next they had both of them revolving doors. Yeah, Whoever I, jump out first. Okay, I agree with that one. You keep Steve on there? Yeah, Steve's got body of work. And you keep Paul? Yeah, oh, come on. Come okay. On. All right, the I'm next saying. one is? Tracy Morgan, Aerie Spears. Cat Williams, Chris Tucker. Body of work? I'll have Aerie's got to go. Aerie's got to go. Yeah, Aerie's got to go. You keep Tracy on there because Oh, Tracy, Tracy, body of work. Yeah, and then Cat. Yeah. His Hairstyle alone. Okay, and then Chris, of course. Yes. The next one, Corey, Robin, Bernie, and Dave. <laughs> You talk about, see, we, we got to go back through this just on stand up. Body of work, Corey's got to go. Yeah. And that'd be the reason why, because he don't have that body, body of, work. of work. Right. So, now, if it was stand up, that whole role would stay. Yeah. Yes. And then uh, the, the debate came is because you only have four women. Which is, I totally agree. That you should have more women on there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, where's my maybe? Mom's who? Mom maybe. <laughs> <laughs> who? Evidently, she ain't your mama. <laughs> who? Mom's maybe. Mom's Mom maybe. <laughs> Easy what? for you to say. Yeah. <laughs> you said your mama wear Maybelline. What? <laughs> yeah, Mom's Maybelline. Um, Shirley Hemphill. 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 Yeah. Jeez. LaWanda Page. We see why they're not on the list. You can't even get her name right. What is it? It's yeah. Shirley Hemphill. You said Hemphill. All right, the next row. Okay, next row. Look at her trying to. <laughs> Uh, Kaz, Tony Rock, Whoopi. Tony Rock's got to come up. Okay. Tony Rock's got to come up. No, Cosby got to come up. I mean, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next one. Who is that at the bottom? DC Curry, Ricky Smiley, Wanda Sykes, and Tiffany. Ricky got to come off. Yeah, Ricky Smiley. Well, he's the king of the South, though. That's true. But he hasn't done any. What, I'm talking about body of work. Yeah. Now, let's go back through it stand up. Pure stand up. I got you. Okay, Pierce stand up. The first row. First row, Martin's got to go. The top, in that order. I'm just talking about as far as stand up, taking the mic. Now, I will replace Ricky Smiley with um, George Lopez. I Good would point. Put George Lopez. Like. Or George Wallace. Right. Okay. Yeah, so the George first Wallace. row is, I keep the first row. <clears throat> Pierce stand up. Pure stand up. Yeah, I keep the first row. No, okay. Pierce stand up. Pure stand up. No, Martin ain't even close. And that's to that. across the board with all audiences. But Martin ain't even close to that. Flip and Wilson, even, even black yeah, audience, even Wilson? black audience. Don't have Dick Gregory on there. Yeah, yeah. even black audience. Dick Gregory, Martin. Ain't he him. started it all. Yeah. Okay. Second row, stand up. Can you put the list back up, please? Second row, stand up. John Witherspoon got to go. His stand up is based on all his TV stuff, his and he just repeats not... that, so he doesn't have pure stand. -up. Okay. Second the, one, the third row. Third row, everybody stays. Okay. Fourth row. Charlie Murphy goes. You didn't like your stand up? He doesn't have stand up. He's, he's never really evolved into a stand up. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, you know, that's just not. I mean, he's. We're Bernie Mac. He's down there with <clears throat> Robin Harris. Oh, okay. So then the next row would be Tracy, Aries, Kat, and, and Chris. Everybody's Tucker. good. Everybody's good on that one? Yeah. Then Corey, Robin, Bernie, and Everybody's, Everybody's good. Everybody's good. Then Doc, Tony Rock, Monique. Whippy. Tony Rock. He has to go? Hmm. Yeah, I just, I mean, I mean, there's somebody that can, okay, here's the, here's the thing. If, some, if we can mention somebody that can replace him, that's why he should go. Yeah. And we could, there's a number of people we can put in Tony Rock's spot. spot. Okay. Then, like there's a number of people, okay, and all right, the next one is, I mean, <laughs> might as well put Tyler Perry up here. Um, DC Curry. Stand up wise, Tiffany's got to go. 
Hmm. Now, do you think what you call he, he could have been on that standard wise? Who? J. Anthony Brown? Of course. Yeah. yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. We're talking about being able to perform in front of anybody. Yeah. No I matter. Been, I should have been on that list. <laughs> Yeah, you are. You on this <laughs> sheet. Yeah, yeah, one big picture of you right there. <laughs> you see Jeff's honorable <laughs> mention. Yeah, right there. You got your own side. <laughs> you know. Oh my God! All right, we're ready, boss. Thank you. All right, so um, <laughs> I had just a couple if videos thing, that if I your wanted. Thing falls one more time. Somebody. Go ahead. I had a couple of videos I want to share in my oh, segment. Oh, sure. Let's do yours. All right. Uh, Since here's they the say first P.O. One. Attention, Walmart shoppers and associates. My name is Beth from Electronics. I've been working at Walmart for almost five years, and I can say that everyone here is overworked and underpaid. The attendant policy is <laughs> We are treated for management and customers poorly every day. Whenever we have a problem with it, we're told that we're replaceable. I'm tired of the constant gaslighting. This company treats their elderly associates like <laughs> To Jared, our store manager, you're a pervert. Greta <laughs> and Kathy, shame on y'all for treating your associates the Man, way I you do. I hope yeah. you can speak to your families the way you speak to us. Shout out to Kamini, Patty, Shardell, and so many more. Walmart doesn't deserve y'all. Fuck <laughs> manage it and fuck this job. I quit. Bravo! <laughs> Bravo! What's up, Jack? I like that. Uh, hey, people are fed up, man. Yeah. She people said, are fed up. She said, you're a pervert. You're a pervert. Man, you knew she had, She definitely was. She, she was in five years. Five yeah. years. She was, like, like, was like, telling like, nothing but the truth. Mm. So you think that's the appropriate way to go out? Then you go out the way you want to go out. Exactly. Especially for Walmart. Yeah. Who yeah. cares? Yeah. Fuck the two week notice. <laughs> right. I've always said that. <laughs> Fuck that. All right, here's the next video. Hey, I live in the neighborhood. Oh, yeah. My Wi Fi name is 1744. Your wife is cheating. Snitch. I don't know how you did not catch on. Your address is 1744, but every day when you leave for work, a Nissan parks three houses down, walks up the side of your house, goes in your back door. I'm assuming you don't have cameras back there. Okay, your wife is smart. But she is unfaithful. I'm going to walk this way, but I don't live this way. (laughs) (laughs) Concerned neighbor. Exactly. (laughs) He just told on himself. (laughs) How do you process that? (laughs) Hey, honey, do you want to explain this? (laughs) The chat room, I we have comments in the chat room that we can show you guys now. What? Oh, there you go. John Q cut her mic. Okay, <laughs> she like scroll that one fast. <laughs> Period. Uh, not violent. Now that's a courtesy card. He was wrong. Seymour Seymour said he was wrong and nosy. Seymour, mm. are you back from where Aruba? Top oh, you follow her, there. don't you? Man. And like Willie. Bloodhound. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> Play part two. What was part two? I don't know. I didn't okay. see part two. But here's the video um, that was on the list that uh, piqued your curiosity, and that is uh, sleeping with 100 men. Is it okay? So, hmm. what if I'd slept with 100? Good for you. And then, how would you then perceive me? I mean, look, I don't judge people per se on what they do outside of their like lifestyle, whatever. I'm just saying, for example, if you had 100 guys in your, I want to say, past or history, it could be considered bad for some people. Okay. Is it bad for you? I think it's just up to your uh, prerogative. But is it bad for you? I think it's a great, a great option for you because... A great I, option for me? Yeah, yeah. But what if I wanted to be your wife? My wife? Yeah, what if I want to be your wife? 100 men. Mm. You want to be my wife for 100 men. Let me ask you this. Do you think if you had 100 men, you could really bond with me all yeah. the way? Yeah. Still? Yep. May the best man win. You don't think... <laughs> Strongest one. <laughs> you don't think that after the 100 men, you might have some, some animosity towards men like, in terms of like, all men are this way, all men are that way. I don't know if I can trust you. I think the more men a, guy, a girl's been with, it's kind of like, it's harder for her to actually like, trust somebody the same way. Because uh, let's be real here. I say all the time, there's only like three to four riches that somebody has before they actually say, you know what? I'm tired of this. I think all people are. Thoughts on that, gentlemen? Uh, don't tell me that. Hmm. Keep it to yourself? T- yeah. A hundred guys? How old is she? Wow. She enjoying it. You know, do the she math. Looks like she's yeah, in exactly. her 30s or 40s. Man. <laughs> she looks exactly. like she's in her what? 30s or 40s. Okay, so what is that? That's 
I don't know. It just seems like a lot, but it's no, not. No, you know. Really. You don't want to <laughs> say. You don't want to say. <laughs> what? I got to find this one video. Hopefully, I, I have it for next week. It was a bachelorette party, and I showed it to some guys at the dime, and just the reaction from people were hilarious. This girl, you know, she got more than what she bargained for yeah. at her bachelorette party. So he did it to her? Yeah, and then she went did down. Did it to her? On him. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> did it to her. <laughs> and she went down on him. And then her wedding was like the next weekend. Oh, no. Isn't that what bachelor <laughs> parties are for? Though? Right, get it all out. <laughs> oh, no, no. Hey, but but the men were so brutally honest. They're like, oh no, if this shit got back to me, no, it's it's over. Mm-hmm. I'm like, and that's and my, my argument was like what Poda said. I said, well, she got it all out. He's like, yeah. no, fuck that, <laughs> fuck that, no, yeah. no. But the double standard came in. I'm like, so what if you went to Vegas? You got the lap dance, and he's like, "Oh well, we supposed to have that." Right, right. Here's my thing. I would be my to concern. The my concern no, would be how she went down on it. My concern now, if she's if she's all in it, and you hearing noise and all that, nah. If she like, okay. So the, the, the question is: so if the video got back to you that Saturday, and you get, supposed to get married that Sunday, and they like, hey man, I didn't want to show you this, but this, yo. This would happen at the best with my That's what they do. It's yeah. a tough one, man. Girls cheering her on. <laughs> Eat that dick. <laughs> Eat that dick. And that's what exactly. I'm going to find it, though. And that's exactly what her, they, her right. bride days was doing. It's like, girl, Cheer take all on. of that. Yeah, Craig, Craig Robinson got a joke like that. <laughs> so you would, would you, the question I posed to them, I'm like, so my man, you getting married Sunday. Your homie, you know, because. <clears throat> Your your girl is one of the bridesmaids, and she just told you pillow talk and said, "I'm gonna show you something." It's like this will happen at the bachelorette party, and then they like, you tell your homie. So do you marry her that Sunday? Or do you call up? The, the, the man, after the full disclosure. Yeah, the men that I I posed the question to at the dime and all that they were young and they were old. They were all like, "No, nah, fuck that. Yeah, no, it's all right. no, fuck that. Mm-hmm. No, no, it's a wrap. No." Mm-hmm. And I'm like, why? I'm like, so know, the she, video you were showing them showed her actually doing that. Yes. Was it sloppy? <laughs> That's your concern, right? I just want to know how good. I just want to know what Did I'm. Did she doing. wear a bib? Yeah. Would you do, Would you marry her? That's a tough one, man. Just say no. No. <laughs> That's nasty. Yes, <laughs> it is. So would you confront and be like, Did yo, she what? swallow? Oh my God! <laughs> Does it make a difference? I, I got certain <laughs> criteria, man. I just no, can't he live bust with that. I can't live. With, I can't be laying next to you. Say good morning. I know you. Oh, wow. I mean, I'm gonna find it. I, I'm gonna go through it. I'm gonna find it. Yeah, I, she, you showed it to me. Yeah, yeah she so was enjoying that shit. What, what? What? What was she? Black. I think she was like maybe Persian or something. I thought she was black. Black, but whatever she, she but whatever, whatever she was, she was horny. Yeah, my hand, my man had her <laughs> legs up, and I mean you can but see. But it's him. her last time, her last opportunity. What to have her legs up? <laughs> yeah, well, not to have her legs up, but to get some D, some new fresh D. Oh wow, <laughs> new fresh D. But I mean, my, the way my man had his hands on her thighs, he, and he was like, what did he have a, yeah, he was like. And they and they was like, bitch, get all of that, mm. get all of that. And it's like, yeah, was he, he was raw? Just, yes, he was raw. And that's what the dudes were saying. They're like, oh nah, man, I can't. <laughs> that nigga busting. Nah, I'm done, dog. I'm like, you not you not married? He like, no. Oh, he went, he bust inside of her. They didn't show the end, but the, you know, you know, niggas yeah. was embellishing. They're like, nah, nigga, he busting the tooth. Nah, fuck that, <sighs> homie. That's a I tough can't, don't. That's tough. So you wouldn't marry that Sunday. Not that Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Not you that Sunday. hundred days. I, I gotta. We gotta pick another Sunday. I, I can't go on that. So now. Uh, not that Sunday. Now, now the, I'm gonna need time to process. Now this. the follow up question was, if I presented it to you, and I say, "Hey man, this was oh girl, yeah, they was at the ambassadorette party. This what she showed me. This is her. So I'm gonna just send you the video." Now, so would you go and confront her? Of course no. he would. What do you mean? Of course I would. No, I wouldn't. I just find out how much we, how much it's gonna cost us to, to get out of this venue. How much this venue gonna cost? The down payment. What we lose? Deposit. Yeah. But I'm would gonna, you tell her though? Huh? Would you tell her? At my age now, no. Okay. 
what I know now, living the life I've lived now, no. Okay. My earlier person that's ignorant and, and, and emotional, yes. But, like, even now, if I knew my marriage was going to end, I wouldn't say anything. Mm -hmm. I'd start putting cash away. So the question is, so would you confront her or would you be like, yo, I'm not feeling a wedding right oh, I'm now. out. I'm out. I'm not feeling a wedding. She knows why. She but knows why. She knows why. And she can figure it out. You have to call me. Hey, figure it out. Talk to such and such. So every time you look at her, you know she's been with a hundred. <laughs> no, yeah, guys. no. I I ain't even think about the hundred guys. I'm thinking about that dude before the bachelor party. No, at I'm, the I'm bachelor saying, party. But right. I'm just saying that was proposed in the but video, that's her, right? The hundred. Okay, so now is it is it acceptable for you to get at your bachelor party to get a lap dance? No, it's not acceptable. Is it the girl to go down on you? You cool with that? Long as I ain't <laughs> nobody. <laughs> But what if she come to you and she like, that bitch sucks your dick? No, I'm not I'm not doing that at my bachelor party. I'm going to do that two nights before my bachelor party. <laughs> so we agree that 100 is game. not acceptable. So what is an acceptable number? 38. 38. Wow. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just seems like a good number. I ask her. As a woman, allegedly. Is that a, is that a lot? A uh, 100? Well, you have to do the math. Like, if she's, like, in her 40s and she's been having sex since her, like, maybe... 1820. Mm -hmm. It's not a dick. So maybe five lovers spread out over the year, each year. I don't know. That's how she should have said it. I've been with five guys a year and I'm 40, <laughs> so I would have. So, but what difference do it make, though? Right. If it's 100 penises yeah. and how many pumps? I think somebody, I think people should be able to uh, have sex with as many people as they like. Exactly. Well, that's why I think you should keep your mouth shut and you don't need to know. Don't ask a question you ain't ready to right, answer. Right, exactly. Don't ask, don't ask that question. Exactly. I ain't asking that question. I don't want to know. Now, I'll figure it out by going through your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you got VD, that's something you can't now, get rid okay, of. This just that's came the to other me. thing. Now, what mm. if it's a woman that you went to? And you done bang there, and you like, okay, cool. But then you find out. And she been with 100 dudes. No, that you find out she was with a nigga that, like, another comic that she was like. Yeah, it's a tough one. I'm sure that's happened yeah. all see, the time. And sometimes it happens, and they don't even tell you. Right. Because most women, if they end the comics, they end the comics. Right. You know, mm -hmm. it's like, and you know how you can figure that out? Just go up on Facebook and look at everybody's friends. And the girl that you know, she's probably friends with all those comments. Man, there's a girl I know on Facebook. I swear to God, she know everybody. You're talking like, about Gina. Oh, nah, wow. Look nah, at you snitching on her. Her name's not Gina. But. <laughs> no, I, I'm not saying Did Gina. you fuck her? No. Oh, okay. No, but Gina knows everyone. Oh. I think it's Gina Day. She knows everyone. I'm not saying she has, she has sex with everybody, but she knows all the comics. Right. Okay. So the question is, so would you stop? Stop what? Did you get out of that relationship? Yeah, I was never in it. No, if you if you was into the oh, relationship. Oh, into her. And, and you found out that she's... It's hard when it's, she got good stuff. Hmm. When you like doing it to her, it's hard. But, but wouldn't it also to... depend if that other comedian was a friend of yours or a Oh, foe? so you're saying if I knew No, somebody. if you didn't know. If you didn't know at the time. If you didn't know at the time. And then, and then I, down the line. And then it was like... No, oh. I'm going to find out. I'm asking. Because I got to know. Because you're coming in my world. Hmm. I got to know. That's part of the reason She why. already was in your world. <laughs> <laughs> Coming. You just wasn't in. Sorry, yeah. guys. We got to call. Let's take the call. Yeah, I'll call her. Yo, what's going on, fellas? It's Jeremy from the DMV. What Jeremy. Up, Jeremy. What's, up, Jeremy? What, what's your answer to that question? What do you do? I'm, first of all, how are you? How was your New Year? I'm Happy sorry. New Year to you. Happy New Year. I'm sorry. Happy New Year to you all, man. I'm great, man. Good. Thank you good. All right. I'm so you great. heard the question. 100 guys. What you doing? I don't care about numbers, but if I saw a video of somebody that I was married and giving head the weekend before, yeah, I'm out. Okay. Well, I'm you out? Okay. I'm good, man. Why? Yeah, because he's from the DMV. Why, 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 why are you giving head the weekend before we supposed to get married? Because we ain't married. Because you're not like, married. Yeah, like Porter said, she getting it all out that she weekend practicing. before. Yeah, she getting it all well, out. Well, well, you can stay single and continue to get it out. Oh, man. man. You know, I'm good. But you got family coming in. Right. Everybody's hey, there. They can, hey, they can get a they can get a flight credit. Now we just gave out twenty five thousand points for their flight cancellation. <laughs> <laughs> so now is it cool for you at your bachelor party? Say that again. Is it cool for you at your bachelor party? I I never really been into all of that, man. Thank I, you. I, I got all that out of my system in college. Like strippers going to the strip club. Uh, uh, okay, so you getting married? So then your homie, even though you're not into it. 
they take you there, and then your homie come back and say, yo, man, going to VIP, got a surprise nah. for you. Nah, bro, I'm good. Yeah, I'm going to have the I'm, right I'm, kind of people around I'm, me. I'm, I'm a germaphobe, number one, so I'm, I'm thinking about STDs and STIs and all that other stuff. Okay. So that's not a good feeling to tell somebody <laughs> you're about to get married to hmm. three right. weeks later that, right. that you caught something. Yeah. <laughs> From getting ahead or getting quick. Uh, no, that's no. I'm, I'm all with you. It's just it's a, it's a double no. standard. It, it we know that it it's a, a double standard. standard. Yes. If you see a girl doing that, then <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. It's just hard. Yeah, it's hard in her. Hey, I got a better question. <laughs> hey, what's the better question? What if she was doing it with a woman? Yeah, no, that's not that. That's good to go. Because <laughs> you know that oh. we we're different. We're in different times now. What if she was doing something with a woman? I, I would, she come I on would, the honeymoon with hey, us? Hey, that's what I'm saying. I, I If I found that out, she owes me. Mm. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm putting that up. I'm putting that up okay. in the deck card. I'm putting that up there. But you were married, though. Oh, yes. You would go through it with the wedding. Oh, because I you know. Yeah, this is double <laughs> stay. Yeah, I'm going with it. Hey, look, if that's what she needs. First of all, I if I'm marrying her, I already know that she does that or she doesn't. Okay. okay. Exactly. So yeah, I already know. know that. Yeah, you, you should. Yeah, you should. Really you should know. know that. So if she into that, and I know that's happening, then I'm good because I know I got birthdays coming up. Right, right, Christmas right, coming right, up. Right. New Year's. New Year's. Mm -hmm. You know, Thanksgiving. And I know Saint Patrick's Day. And it's gonna be a couple times when she's gonna say I might not make it. Juneteenth and that's I know where she Groundhog is. Day. <laughs> right. I know where she is, so I'm good to go. President's Day. But that's still it's still cheating though. Hmm? It's still cheating. Though. Yeah, it's still cheating, but I, I get to I get to monitor it. Right, right, right. Yep. But it's different right. with the man. Hey, I ain't monitoring no dudes, John. <laughs> I ain't monitoring. Hey, no Dill. Yes, sir. I do want to congratulate you on uh, communicating with your son, because as we black men, and you know, I've, I've experienced it myself. You know, our father-son relationships are some of the most uh, what's the word? Not explored relationships. You so know what I say, man. You all, I appreciate it, man. You all. Uh, Communicating and got on the common ground somewhat. But you know what? In, in the end, though, you know what I got Because I got the same issue with my little brother and my dad. They kind of, you know, button heads at times. So mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And, and my dad in his 70s. Matter of fact, it's his birthday today. So, you know, well, happy, oh, happy birthday, Pop. Yeah, you, you kind of want to, you kind of want to help mend those relationships. So it's great to see y'all uh, coming together like that, man. Appreciate it, man. Well, thank you, man, for that. Uh, that Wait a minute, Jamie. How, how's your girl? Your, yeah. your, your computer love. What's going exactly. on with that? <laughs> you deleted her? No, we still, we still hang and, and chit-chat and, and, and talk every now and then. Oh, chit-chat. Right? Every now and then. Yeah. It's not serious. No. No, no, it's not serious. Not at all, man. No. It's, it's, it's you just, just smash there. occasionally. That's all, huh? Yeah. It's, it's something same time with every now and then. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm not even focused on the relationship. What you focus you know? on? Yeah. Hey, getting his business and his money up, man. Okay. His, his legacy is okay. really what I'm focused on. Your little tomato playing. garden. <laughs> yep, farming all of that, man. That's Seriously, right. You know, I'm, I'm, that's, really, that's really my plan because I plan to move back down south in the next two years. I'm tired of living in this area. Hmm. So I'm trying to go back home and uh, really build the uh, family legacy, man. All right, cool, bro. Did the storm hit you down there? Uh, <clears throat> no, I, w I was actually out on the West Coast. I went to Sedona, Arizona for the uh, Christmas. So, I was flying out on Christmas Day. Oh, wow. And so I was I was lucky that my Southwest flight didn't get canceled because I know a lot of people's flights got yeah. canceled. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I was out in Sedona, man. The weather was amazing. Yeah. And all of that sun and just, uh, it ain't a lot of us out there, though, I tell you that much. Oh, no. Nah. Hmm. But, but that's, uh, it was nice. All right, so, bro. All right, man. Thank happy you. Happy 2023 to you, man. Yeah, Jeremy. Appreciate it, man. Y'all have a happy new year. All right. You as well. So, Seymour sent me part two of that neighbor video. What? <laughs> do y'all yeah, want to see yeah. it? We do. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hey, I live in the neighborhood. My Wi-Fi name is 1744. Your wife is cheating. I don't know how you did not catch on. Your address is 1744. But every day when you leave for work, a Nissan parks three houses down, walks up the side of your house, goes in your back door. I'm assuming you don't have cameras back there. Okay, your wife is smart, but she is unfaithful. Oh, wow. I'm going to walk this way, but I don't live this way. <laughs> okay. Hello? Hey, I just wanted to apologize for last night. I know I probably shouldn't have broke the news like that, but I had a few drinks. <laughs> 
Are you the guy that changed his Wi-Fi name to 1744, Wife is Cheating? Yes, I thought I was being clever by using your address. I thought you'd catch on. It was stupid, but no, dude, she is cheating. Every time you go to work, I see this guy walk up the side of your driveway and go into your back door. That's a brother. Okay, so you got a few things wrong there. Um, the wife is the one that's actually driving and going to work, and the guy is for me, and yes, he does come in my back door. Oh. Uh. Oh, ooh, ooh, wow. All right. Uh, fuck, my bad. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. Um, I mean, thank you, though. Like, I really didn't have the courage, and this is actually life-changing. Hey, hey, I'm very glad I could help, and I'm also sorry at the same time. All right, have a good one. Uh, <laughs> wow, is that, ha- that real? No, that had it's to be a prank. prank. Yeah. Because it was so funny, yeah. <laughs> so good, good writers. But it, but it's happened. Yes, it's happened. Yeah. You mean the back door? <laughs> no, that whole situation. Yeah, it's yeah. happened. Yeah. Okay, I have one more video, and then that wraps up my video. Oh. Um. <laughs> Too many people dying. Oh. <laughs> in 2022, fucking with Finn now. Nigga, you done. <laughs> if you're gonna be an addict, you might need to go back to crack. <laughs> Crackheads live longer than anybody. You still see them around. True that. That fentanyl shit is way stronger. If you can't shake it, go back to crack. <laughs> You're going to be funnier. You're going to live longer. <laughs> Fool for thought. Words of wisdom. F- no, not food. Fool for thought. Fool Man. for thought. I heard what he said. But, but he's mine. right, though. <laughs> yeah, I see some crackheads. I see oh, some I crackheads that still look youthful. Like it's like it almost preserves. Except them. their teeth preserves everything but no, their that's teeth. That's crystal meth. Oh. We got one that moderates our show. Who? The crackhead? Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't me. And um, um, so, can we go into your video? Well, let's go into that one. Yeah, that about my crack. Since yeah. We're, since yeah. we're talking about talking crack. About crack. All right, here's... Where'd you uh, find this at? Wait a minute. <laughs> Go to the gas station, right? I didn't feel like getting out and the crackhead was right there. I'm like, man, can you get my... He said, man, I'm busy right now. You got to hold up now. <laughs> I got oh, two- oh, excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> I got two oh, cars ahead of me. Right, right, right. right. Fuck, nigga. Oh, you got a straight man. attitude with me. <laughs> you just can't cut, nigga. Hold up now. I'm busy now. <laughs> <laughs> now, what you but, want, man? That's, right. what, that's what little Boosie said. <laughs> crack a, make you funnier. Take a number. Lewis. <laughs> okay, all right, my fault. All right. Oh, no, that I, was, <laughs> I got that. I just got that. <laughs> <laughs> I need to do some crack. Okay, we, we do have a phone call. I don't want to keep them holding too long. Right. <laughs> call her. What up, man? It's Pooley, man. Pooley. What's up, player? What's up, Pooley? How you doing, man? Hey, hey, I got a question for all three of y'all, man. Hey, Lewis, do you think y'all Eagles going to win the division? Mm. Uh. And for for, John, for Jeff over there, what in the hell do the Chicago Bears need to do to win, man? And for TDP, what's wrong with your Lakers, man? Mm. Uh. Great, great questions. questions. Good yeah. day, man. Hey, hold up a second. You just can't leave uh. that. You can't leave that quick. What? We know what the question is. If you caught yours, the bachelorette party, would you marry what you say now? If you caught your wife at the bachelor party. Wife to be. The wife to be. Party. The bachelorette party. The wife to be. And the stripper was giving it to her raw. And then she went down on the, on, on the stripper. All that. And then the hey. next Saturday, that Sunday, you was getting married. You were showing the video sure. that Saturday. If she worth seven figures, yeah, I'm staying with her, man. <laughs> <laughs> Put that to the side, huh, Pooley? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, bro. <laughs> that is hilarious. Pooley kept it real. Yeah, Thank you, you very much. Yeah. Seven figures. Seven Seven figures. figures. All right. All right, man. <laughs> oh, my God. That's hilarious. Okay. So all right, here's your video. This yes. video I saw, and I was like, what? Street in Hollywood, and I brought some crack. And when I brought it, <clears throat> two white guys were in plain clothes. Got me right there. I was sitting in the car with my old lady, and I had about $80, $90 worth of dope. And I just ate it. And uh, 
course, they took us to the police station. And I was very, very, I was scared, you know what I mean? No Hawaii. Well, no Hawaii, but also, I mean, what does this look like? The day after I get out of jail and I got dope on me? And uh, I swallowed it. And uh, they, 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 they jammed us up for like eight hours. When you say you swallowed it, was it inside of a It was wrapped inside yeah. a thing and uh, defecated it out mm -hmm. later on, eight, nine hours later, and smoked it. I mean, that's the junkie's mentality. Shit clean. That's original. Yeah. That, that's show. originally, that's smoking original crack. It's yeah. been filtered. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That's the original Late Late Show. Wow. Yeah, Tom, Tom Snyder. Snyder. Yeah. That was the Late Show. That Craig Kilborn took his spot. Yeah. That was one of my favorite shows, yeah, Tom Craig Snyder. Craig Ferguson, now James Corden. Wow. Okay. Worldwide Pants. Yes. And where'd you find that? You just scrolling? Yeah. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I think this next one. Oh, no, go ahead. Do your thing. Are we at call? It's, it's, watch, probably my dad call him talking about the real crack. Talking about that ain't how you smoke no crack when they got <laughs> shit on it. Now, now, see, when I was doing it. <laughs> which, uh, which one, Lou? Oh, no, I thought it was a caller. No, I thought we were going to go to TDP's uh, sports. We do have a caller. Hang okay. on. Then we'll go to TDP sports. John. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Caller. Yo. Happy New Year. Oh, Happy New Year, up, Seymour. Seymour. Uh, no, so I got a big hand, huh? Oh. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. It oh, looked God. like that when you were standing next to the water. <laughs> oh. oh, all right. Oh, now, ocean this head. Was before, this was before I was beside the water. I thought, look at this little fucking noise. I'm just oh, kidding. No, you're I was just. You're not calling nobody head, dude. No. I know. No, you're, you're, you're not calling nobody head. No, dude. your head is good, Seymour. <laughs> your head is good. <laughs> I mean, that didn't, you know. yeah, that yeah. didn't, yeah, sorry, you go. That didn't come out right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that didn't come out right. Last time you've been down there. What bachelor party was this? Yes. <laughs> that is horrible. I did not I mean it. My daddy's head and my daddy was 6'5". Now, I want to ask you a question, Lou. Where does Lou Lou get his height from? Oh, that's from second me? generation, girl. I don't know which mailman slipped in, but he got him. I ain't uh, mad. <laughs> no. Wow. Is, your, is your dad tall? No, my, my uncles are tall my, on my mom's side. Uh -huh. My uncles are so, and and then so Jeffy is kind of tall now. And Jeff keep you keep joking, sitting there next to you now. So I just want to no, go and and find and out. my kids' moms' uncles are tall. And Luke got hair like mine's a little bit. Lou ain't got no hair oh, like oh. Luke. Got, Lou got I know oh, Lou is mine because Lou's hairy like me. Oh wow! All over his body. <laughs> he, he has your nose. He's got my nose, so you know. He does have a nose? And, yeah. You know, he got, got that other joint. <laughs> Got that other. I just wanted to call in and say Happy New Year and, and let you know I heard some little comment. Her head's kind of big. I'm like, what? Mm. Well, let me let me we we asking our callers. Let let's um, put this question to you. If you, hypothetically, if you're getting married and your fiance at his bachelor party, you get the video. He going up in the stripper and he getting head from the stripper. You get the video a week later. That's Saturday. Are you still marrying him that Sunday? No. Oh wow. She okay. said no. Honestly. I work I work in research, uh, Jeff. Do you know that over sixty percent of new head and neck cancer cases are from HPV? Yes. He don't know what that girl done sucked in his penis. No. Mm, okay. I would not have my pap smear abnormal because he don't have dick discipline. No. Oh. Uh, okay. All right. I, I think New we, terminology. Yeah, yes. I think we uh, that clears it up. Thank you. I, I, all right, now praise God. Right. <laughs> Won't he do it? Aruba, Aruba was awesome. I enjoyed myself. I went to Aruba for Christmas. It was awesome. I'm now, glad I you had a good caught time. up in the kerfuffle trying wow. to get out of there, but I made it back home safe. <laughs> well, we're glad you did. Oh, wow. Good. All good right. You. All right, love. Yeah. Bye bye. Y'all take care. Bye bye. Seymour. Damn, she wouldn't. Yep, I did get my 25,000 uh, flight points from Southwest. They canceled one of my flights. Oh, wow. Good for you. I had to take the train home. I, I love that train ride. Yeah, I think it's cool. Yeah. But that was yeah, a great excuse for, for Southwest. Yeah, but some people had to spend $3,000 to get home. Yeah. yeah. That's cause cause you got, but you know what Southwest is doing? They sent an email to the people who were on there. They're, they're, gonna, um, they're offering to pay. For like, I had to take the train, so they're off um, offering to reimburse me for my train ticket. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
so good. they're trying to make up for it. I, I messes with uh, Southwest. Yeah, that's good. There's a logo on the West. Southwest. I'm supposed to be the franchise player, and we're in here talking about practice. If I wish one of your guys had children, if I could kick them in the fucking head or stomp on their testicles, so you could feel my pain, because that's the pain I have. I wish I was 50 years younger, and I'd kick your ass. You won't do oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, we look like the damn bad video. news bears. Let me see she has that video. Do you have that video I sent you of that, that bachelor party? Uh, I didn't get it yet. Oh, okay. mm. I had a five. Speeder teeters for it. Oh, hey, hey, Teeter's sports ticker. Hey, we had a situation Monday night football. Oh, wow. Yeah. Young man made a tackle, got up, fell back down. Um, Cardiac arrest is what they're saying, and canceled the game for one one player down on the field. Um, A lot of people said they should have played, and a lot of people said that. They did right by not playing the game. Um, Speedy recovered to the young man, and his um, yeah. donation went up over a million dollars on his behalf. Now, my question to the panel is, do you think it was just the tackle, or was it other outside forces with the young man's body that caused him to Go into the cardiac arrest and have to put a trachea on him in the field and you had to administer that. CPR to him. I think yeah. with the climate today, I think you know this new generation. I mean, it's a different athlete. Mm-hmm. It's a whole different athlete. Absolutely. I mean, you know, you, you they're looking at and I I get it to protect their body to last mm-hmm. long because they don't want they see what's happened previous with CTE you know, yeah, and with, like, with mm-hmm. players and all that. But I mean, it's just, it's to me, it's, and I'm not evading the question, but it's just around the sports board. Yeah. Like the biggest question is baseball. The younger players is like, the season's too long. Mm-hmm. 162 games. We don't need to play 162 games. Right. So right. they want to shorten it to 138 or 140. Okay. They don't want to go to October. Mm-hmm. They say that's too long. Basketball. They're 82 like, games. Yeah, season. 82. They're, they're mm-hmm. like, can we go to 60? Mm-hmm. You know, so, and then, you know, and then the NFL <laughs> this year was their first year. They increased it. They went up another game. Mm-hmm. It's 17 games. It used to be 16. Yeah. So it's 17. And then you going back for the longest, it's back to back from Sunday to Thursday. Mm-hmm. So I do get it. But I mean, there have been other tragedies. And they're trying to say they've never seen anything like that. Right, right. So that right. let me know how young those sports. Uh, commentators and broadcasters were mm-hmm. because we all seen it. Yeah. We seen the vicious hit that Jack Tatum put on Daryl Stingley. Mm-hmm. And he had to be carried off yeah. on the stretcher. You saw when he got his neck broken. Paralyzed. Yeah, yeah. paralyzed. They mm-hmm. took him off and they resumed play. Um, Chuck Hughes was running down um, on the Thanksgiving game, the Chicago Bears, 1971. Mm-hmm. He was running a pattern, you know, a flat out. Ran down on the sideline and just straight up died of a heart attack. Yeah. Came out, stretched it, they took him off. We saw Joe Theismann literally get his leg broken. Mm -hmm. Got taken off, they resumed play. Yeah. Um, Who's my man for the Raiders? When his leg just went all the way back. And you can just, that was was hard to watch. Yeah. 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 That was really hard to watch. I mean, because his body was up there and then his ankle and his knee was like reversed. Yeah. Carted him off the field and resumed play. Bo Jackson. Yeah, Bo Jackson. No, it wasn't Bo Jackson. It was somebody else. No, no I'm saying what Bo yeah. Jackson was on the field too. And, he was, and then you look at, I mean, you, you go to different sports like Kirby Puckett in the World Series. Yeah. When he got eye. hit uh, fastballing, you know, they didn't stop playing. They just like, okay, we got to keep. So, I mean, it's just with the new generation. Under protocol is what they, they're calling it. Yeah. Protocol. So, I mean, like, I, you know, I call him, and, you know, the, the comic, it always comes out. And, you know, the first thing I thought was that little snippet from Paid in Full. <laughs> you know, with my man, like, you be all right, B. Niggas get hit every day on the every field. Every day, B. Like, Yo, pull your skirt down. Some chicken soup. Get some chicken soup. Let's go. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, with, t- with today's culture and then the climate, yeah. Okay, so they got together, and they just said, you know, now, you know, human life and all that is more important than the game. Mm-hmm. Which we get it, but 
I mean, I'm still like up in arms. Yeah, I don't see a butt in it. Um, you think they should have called the game? Of course. The man, with the, look, we had never seen, like you kept saying about how we've seen this before. No, they were carted off and you figure, okay, we didn't know his neck was broke. We didn't know he was going to be paralyzed. Yeah. Daryl Stingley, we didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the other guy who had the heart attack, they took him off and they didn't have the different protocol that they have now. Like now, everybody saw it, and video, and everyone, and then they gave us an idea of everyone. If you know CPR, you, when a young person just drops, right, yeah, it's cardiac arrest. Exactly. Yes. So, I get that. Yeah. Right. So my thing was, no, they did the right thing by stopping the game because the game there was nothing more important than us hearing that that young man is is okay, that he's in stable condition. <laughs> nothing. Mm-hmm. If you felt, if you felt that they should have continued the game, there's something wrong with you. No. Yeah. Because yeah. The thing is, because you're worried. You're not worried about this man. You worried about some stupid game. No, I'm just saying. You go back to the history of. No, it has nothing to do with now. Now, what does it that say to... about human life? If we're so concerned about a football game and this man just collapsed on the field and they had to do I, no, CPR, I get, I get that. I get all of that. I'm just saying, from that, from a debate point of view, it's just like okay. it's no debate. All right. Okay. It's, it's if I'm just what, saying. okay if if you if your son was an athlete was that athlete and all of a sudden he collapsed like no, that you and that, I, no, are you okay with them just no the no game? no no I'm not but I'm just I'm referencing to when people kept saying we've never seen we have seen stuff like no, this. We have, but we haven't seen that you, we have we have never seen a guy guy die uh, no he hasn't died excuse me no we have not. never seen a guy in this time. So you're saying in 71, so we're talking in 31 years. Yeah, he ran so down the line. So in 31 years, yeah. most of the people who were watching that game, a lot of them weren't even here. Right. But and then we all witnessed, it was it was a national televised game when Jack Tatum And how hit, many cameras did they have? How many times did they show us when he when Jack Tatum hit him? We saw we saw the, the replay was over and over. Right. They had replay But back now there. they realize that that's this mentally... Yeah, yeah, I get it now. Like I, even no, those I, players... I, I, do you think they that. wanted to play? Yeah, no, I get that. I understand that. If you Napoleon get that, McCollum was the running yes. back for the Raiders. So, yeah, that I get that. I get it, though. But, if you, but I'm saying you say you get it, but you're, but there's a but. At what point in life do we say there's no but? Okay. There's no, I don't care what, you, it's just like the little stupid boy, and we'll get to that. Uh-huh. You know, it's, it's like at one point you got to have somebody say, hey, man. Yeah, no. no, right, right, right. Enough is enough. Yeah. Enough, that's it. Right. Mm-hmm. You're not doing Human that. life is not. Is more Just like it, it took everything for those announcers not to say the wrong thing. Exactly. That was was the amazing, amazing thing, yeah. watching them not saying the same thing. And they all, and they all, in the comment, out, they call the game. Right. The game is not. And Ryan game. Clark going through his Everybody. Yes. The main thing was saying who's, and, and I, evidently Skip Bayless was the only one that said something stupid. Exactly. And then, if, if, but we know why he did that. But then Roger Goodell's now, he's taking a hit now. And then Tony Vincent had to come out and said, no, absolutely not. That's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. You know, we sent the players back out there. He said, but no, we knew we was going to call the game. So he right. came out. And they said they had to make sure everything was in order, order. Yeah. to go yeah. forward, like making sure the people can leave. They had to set everything yeah. up. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, so they can exit the right way. Absolutely right. Because that was, that was yes. only in the first quarter. Yeah. Yes. So that means they, you know how to, you go in one way and you go out another way yeah. in right. stadiums. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So and they had to look at the security of everybody in the but stadium. But everybody yeah. left in the orderly fashion. Mm-hmm. They, wasn't, they weren't upset about anything. So it was right to call it. So, yes. Yeah, they, put a, they had a triage on the field. So yeah. Yeah, yeah you got an AED yeah. on the field. Hey, man. That's, and that's the toughest thing. That's why, like, I agree with them. You, every school, everybody should have an AED around. Because that's going to save a person's life. Right. Yeah. So, do you, you know, not, do you know CPR, though? Yes, you have to. You can't be yeah. a coach. No, I, unless I agree you know with CPR you. Yeah. and first aid. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, the main thing is get help, CPR. Right. They're not breathing, CPR, so you, can, so you can get that brain activity going, get that blood flowing through these vital organs. Hut one. Uh, hut two, now we lost a great uh, Pele. Yes. Ah. Brazilian. 82. Soccer. Legend turned pro at fifteen. Yeah, fifteen in Brazil. Yeah, won the World Cup at seventeen. Won it three times. Legendary. And I remember watching the games. You know, being young and like, man, that dude is serious. Yeah, the footwork, everything, everything, speed, great athlete. Yes, that we lost. 
And uh, back to Pooley's uh, question, uh, Chicago Bears, they need a new stadium. We need a lot, man. We need an offensive line. Justin Fields needs help. Mm. Um, we just, you know, we need a new coach. Okay. Well, that's the first thing. We need a new coach. We need an, um, an offensive coordinator. We need somebody that's going to protect Justin Fields. We know he has the, the talent. He can run. Mm-hmm. But you got to get him some help, though. Right. And you're not running David Montgomery properly. Yeah. You're just not utilizing him the right way. Mm-hmm. You know, they let – who was the uh, Chase uh, – they waived him. They had a chance to get him. Chase Claypool. Yeah. They had a chance to get him. The Bears passed up on that. Mm-hmm. So that was stupid. You know, so it's just it's Chicago history. Next question, Lewis Dix, Philadelphia Eagles. Mm, I Eagles. see the downfall. It's coming. No, that's why now they can chill on this backup, this backup quarterback uh, being able to start. We saw that. But the Eagles are tripping anyway because they didn't run the ball. Why are you going to have your backup throw the first three plays throw? Mm. I mean, come on, man. Run the ball. But that's, you know, hey, that's neither here nor there. Every time I talk to Dr. Cosby about press football, he said, like, how much you making? <laughs> <laughs> how much you making from them? You in that salary? Good point. Exactly. But that's, Joe, how, that's how I feel about my Lakers, you know. Your Steelers did good, though. We in there, baby. That was a great comeback. We in there. That was a great comeback. That was a good game. In there. That was a good game. And he fucked up because you saw Woo! when he when he when he tripped over himself <clears throat> and he just laid there and didn't get up. You yeah. saw Mike Tomlin like, "What the <laughs> fuck is you doing?" You I'm know, uh, Kenny Pickens, oh, the right. quarterback, mm-hmm. quarterback. When he got when you know he got the ball and he tripped over his feet mm-hmm. and he just laid there and they just kept showing it. They said, "Well, yeah, time to get back up. Yeah, time At to get back up. At least throw it out of bounds." He just lost twelve yards. Yeah, and you could see Mike Tomlin's reaction like. Yeah. Lord have mercy. What the fuck? And he just going up, but then he came back and he made that that, that hell yeah, of a he was throw. The only he was the only quarterback selected in the uh, 2022 draft. He made that throw, the but the receiver made the catch. The running back. Was, yeah, the running back. He made the catch. You talking about, oh, the, oh, the 22. Yeah. Harris. That was a good ball. Yeah. That was, that was a good ball. ball. Yeah. Right ball. where it needed to be. Yeah. So we in there at 8 and 8. We, we still got a fighting chance. Fight, y'all got a fighting chance. All right. Now... Um, what did I want to say to, um... The Lakers. Just old. NBA is young. It's a whole new... Man. It's a whole new get down out there. So, we, 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 not, we, you know, we just... Lakers so bad, people don't even give you tickets no more. Yeah, we riding LeBron Hilarious. out, you know. He'll get that um, all-time leading score. There he is. They won't. Championship. Now, do you feel that now with today's... The athleticism and the athlete, you think it should be cut from 82 to 70 games? If that's how they feel, yeah. If that's how they feel. Because they already cut the back-to-backs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they used to have like 17 back-to-backs. I think they got like eight back-to-backs now. Yeah, they used to have three games and four nights. Yeah, so they cut that now. Yeah, they cut that down. I mean, that's what you get paid to do. If you just look at it per minute, you're averaging 38 minutes. That ain't nothing. Compared to what you're getting. The money you're making, but the travel and all, you know, East Coast, West Coast, and yeah, time zone and all but that. I, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but all no, that but they, they... Private they, chef, yeah. yeah it's tough. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, back in the day, that, the team, they flew commercial. Now yeah. you got private. Right. So I'm, I rode on the Chicago Bulls plane. Okay. Mm. No joke. No, it's nice. I mean, chef, what would you like to eat? Filet mignon, all that, man. Anthony yeah. Davis, God Damn, can we get this boy some new legs? He's mad. What? What happened? Dude, stay he, hurt. He stay hurt. Oh, yeah. He'd be like a porcelain doll. And that's what they say. Do you think the NBA should go from 82 to 70? I don't care. Yes. Oh, okay. I just watch the playoffs anyway. Um, and we had bowl games. Did anybody's team win? Man, that was, hey, uh, I know USC see, needed it. That was pitiful. That was, was too late. That was a good came game, play, though. though. They came back. They came to play. They came back. They were up. What? It was like 31. 45 to 30. 30. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man. Then they got that safety. Then they went on the roll. Oh, yeah. But the national championship is with um, TCU and um, um, Georgia. Georgia. Ohio State should have won that. Mm. It was tripping. Hey. Purdue the put a whooping on them boys. The underdogs. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Uh, No. That was Teeter Sports Ticker. Thank God. Fuck, we man. do have a, a clip that uh, Jeff shared a, with LeBron that we can play right now. Thank you oh, for yeah. this. Oh. 
Here comes Rager. See this? Yeah. Uh, this how you making me bring in the new year? <laughs> this how you making me bring in the new year? Hey man, I mean, listen, I've been in Atlanta all weekend. I got my birthday celebration. I went to basketball game. We celebrate my birthday with you. Mom, good. Ohio State crushing loss. <laughs> so I got to get it done. Let's start the year off good. Is he playing videos? Yeah. But look how he has to say it. Madden. Yeah, look how he has to say it to her. He has to say it to, like, respectfully, like, yo. They seriously. gave it to her, though. It's like, yo, we, you know, it's my birthday. Well, well, how, he knew he was on video. Yeah. So that's part of the game. Of yeah. course. It ain't like he, it ain't, that ain't Dana's wife. <laughs> but it ain't like the season over. He's still working. Oh, that, like I was rough, that was, uh, Twice. Huh? Twice. Twice. Hard. Hard. Dana With his White. right hand. Dana White. He Was she wrong girl? for asking? What did she ask? No. She, uh, is this how we're spending New Year's Eve? Oh, her? Yeah, she his wife. She whatever she wants. She's she been, she been winning from Jump Street. Yeah. yeah. She got carte blanche. She ain't no new. That's his sister. That's his sister can ask whatever she want. Yeah. Childhood she sweetheart. She's taking care of that family. Yeah. She's doing she yeah. on it. He would not be LeBron if it wasn't for her. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's low-key as rock. Are you okay. kidding? Okay, that's wonderful. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. But you think that was um No, I'm serious. That's beautiful. I'm I'm no. surprised. Moms just said we do. No, I, I I think as as men, I mean, we all need to do a better job in house. No, but you know the comments was just going, you know, you ain't going to never have it, you know, your way. The comments was like, damn. Well, that's people who people yeah. who are commenting don't have anybody in their house loving yeah. them like that. Yeah, because she didn't seem like she was upset. No, no, she, she was, she was just joking. Yeah. She was like, yeah. hey, well, this is how you got me spending. Trust me. Yeah. The, the house she in, <laughs> yeah. she could have, she could have invited anybody over. New Year, I mean, she could do, trust right. me. Right, she yeah. could have went on a right. girl's vacation. Yeah, trust right, me. Right, right. So, no, trust cool. me. Okay, ready. I've been seeing a lot of these kind of videos, uh, and then we're going to get into um, Jeff's uh, thing around... Um, Christmas, kids acting up. I guess these are pranks or not, but Lewis, I thought of you. Here we go. This not what I wanted. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? Like for real? What the fuck? <laughs> Lou? <laughs> These kids are out of control with this whole prank stuff, man. No, I mean, the, I guess the there was one where the father, I he wanted a PS5, yeah. and he got a, <laughs> yeah. a PS4 or and Xbox threw it. And, and threw it. it. Yeah. But some of these, because... <laughs> Took it out the box and threw it. But they, is going back during the pandemic and all that, too, where they was pranking the dad, when the kid would come in and the mom would, like, take out the trash. Yeah. And the kid was like, shut up. Mm -hmm. And some of the dads was like, they wasn't with that shit because one dad grabbed that motherfucker by the neck and the mom was like, hey, 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 hey. This whole, this whole, uh, I mean, th this whole <coughs> prank stuff, you know, making fun of other people's reaction off stuff is too much. And, and it, it's, and we have a perfect example of that. One of the videos. Yeah, you can show that one. I mean, it, it's. Angela Bassett. Let's make that the last one. Okay. So we can talk about it, okay, in more depth. So let's go ahead with Jeff's. Um, we did the picture. Oh, look at him throwing up gang signs. Oh, this is a peace sign. Yeah, he caught you. You're a proud boy. <laughs> He's a proud boy. <laughs> Trump okay, 2024. Hey, there you go, Jeff. What's up? We got these videos. When I went back to school, and I wasn't eating as much, but I was still finding ways hey, to sneak hey, hey. and eat the way that I wanted. All this going my way. And so I put on another hundred pounds in the next five years. Not another one. And I was around two fifty when I was thirteen. And when it got like that, was when my mom started to really. I forgot play to get a napkin. <laughs> I was Jeff explain yourself. I, I wasn't gonna submit it, but I know how you feel. <laughs> so that was for you. <laughs> I know how you feel. Was that all her? <laughs> that was all her. <laughs> she took it to the bedroom. <laughs> I forgot my diet coat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's somebody for everybody though. Shantae, bring me a soda. <laughs> 
anybody where the Parmesan cheese at? God damn. When I saw you was the first one, I said, I know how you feel, though, bro. <laughs> I, I sent her a video of a girl dancing, big girl. and The Co dude Co that was behind her? Huh? Oh, you got to see that one. I got to find and that Code one. And Code 3 was like, oh. And I sent it to her just to see what she would say. Yeah. And everybody, oh, she's so pretty. Hmm. And every comment was about her. You got to find a silver lining. No, it was like, you too much. Too I got to find I'm going to have another one. That, uh, and I never knew how to read the comments. Can you play that video again? No. Play mine, <laughs> a chunky girl dancing. Uh, I, <laughs> For some reason, I didn't download. Because I, I already felt bad at Jeff's video no, of the it. big girl. Because right. it's kind no, of I didn't see a big fat girl. shaming. Yeah, no, I, I thought that I'm, too. <laughs> But she was dancing and she was happy. And no, it just looked. Uh, Jeff's is a little meaner. At least mine was no, nice. No, mine's not mean. She <laughs> eating. No, Jeff's yeah, mine was nice. I had a balance. Tell me you wouldn't have ate none of that lasagna. I would have ate some. Yeah, she would have exactly. gave me some. It looked good. It did. Of that lasagna. It was done. She had, she had both big arms. Crispy nice on brown top. top. Yeah. <laughs> but no, this the one I'm going to sit next to was um, the girl at the um, at the bar. I mean, she's humongous, mm -hmm. but she had her leg up on the on the bar stool, mm -hmm. and my man was like right behind her. She was twerking that shit. What? And then somebody in the, um, that was videotaping, like Lord have mercy, there is somebody for somebody. Yeah. And my man was like all up on that. The chat room is insisting we do a replay. Uh, <laughs> see. <laughs> When I went back to school, hey, and hey, I wasn't hey. doing as much, but I was still finding ways to stay. Anybody want some? Okay, I cool. Watch how she goes in and the door. And so I put on another hundred pounds. Make a left right up here. here. <laughs> and I was around GPS. when I was thirteen. You and are when in it your got room. like that was when my mom started to. Oh, really that was out. heavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's so unhealthy. Not that food it was. No, no she's about to throw that out, yo. Somebody says Speedy would be proud. <laughs> well, one thing we know for sure, that wasn't no that wasn't no vegetarian <coughs> lasagna. Oh. <laughs> All right, that's Bless good. her heart. <laughs> she ain't and they got, in one look, look, in the list they got big girl with lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's even Who funny. word is that? That's yeah. even funnier the way she labeled it. Oh. Big girl All right, here's uh, Jeff's next video. <laughs> Come on, man, y'all tripping, bro. Listen, listen, bro. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I'm not eating my food. Oh yeah, we got two. Y'all crazy, bro. That's crazy. Hey, stop. Hey, what you wanna do? Stop. What you wanna do? What you wanna do with me? What you wanna do? You wanna do nothing? What you wanna do? You wanna do nothing? What you wanna do? I'm, I'm recording. That's what I'm doing. Why well, y'all selling people this food and shit? Why well, y'all crazy? What you wanna do? Nothing, man. I know you don't. Okay, can you? It's on the ground. It's on the ground. Okay. Yeah. What you order? Uh, well, you know I don't order nothing, nigga. Okay, what do you want now? I don't want nothing. <laughs> That's what I want. Get a four falafel. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. No, come look at this. Look, I see that. It's there. Look at this shit. Oh, y'all tripping, bro. Motherfuckers still in their order. That's disgusting. Earlier in the video, they showed a mouse running around. Yeah. And then they he brings the camera into the kitchen and all the food's on the floor. I'm like, why? Hmm. So... Well, what did the mouse order? <laughs> <laughs> a trap to go. <laughs> maybe, he did. maybe his order. They wasn't say right. in every business in LA, there's mice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Rats. It's hard to get good employees. Yeah. Hmm. All right. It's next one. That's nasty. Uh, we can go into this last one that you guys were talking about, and then I'm gonna pull up the the apology. Oh okay. Okay. Oh okay. Well, uh, wait, wait. Before we get we, to okay, we can't get the library you wanna, one. Let's go through some of mine. Then oh, get to, we'll do that. The library one. Hang yeah. On. Yeah. I'm appalled at this one. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go there. <laughs> now, it would have been funny if they had said the bottom, they would have said, shh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Here's Jeff's up. next photo. <laughs> is that a camel toe? <laughs> what, what is that? What the hell? Help me out. What, what is? What, what are we looking the at? Snowman. The snowman. The <laughs> snowman. <laughs> you don't see the carrot, you know? 
You've been away from Philly too long. Yeah, yeah. You don't see what's hanging between our legs? That's a, the John, right? <laughs> a male or female John? That was a male John. <laughs> I would know. Hmm. Guess we need to have her come to a bachelor party. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. So you want to set this up? Um, uh, well, you know what? This is interesting because I can't. Mm. Someone else has to. You can't? Because I have to recuse myself from this. Mm. Oh, okay. Recuse. Yeah, because, okay. You okay. want to tell why? No, but go ahead. No, you want to tell why? You have to recuse yourself? I have to recuse rec- rec- hmm? because I, don't, I can't even say that. Okay. So, yeah. go ahead. Yeah. Now, did this start over the um, pandemic? This this whole prank thing. This whole I, no, yeah. I think it's new. It's a new one. It's no, new. it started over the over the pandemic. No, it had. Mm-hmm. It did because you're the, saying it started two years ago. Right, right before then, because I'm I'm going back to like where they said celebrities. Country, yeah, well, Country Wayne and all them. They was doing all these pranks and all of that. Yeah. So it okay. started right before, right around maybe eighteen, nineteen. Okay. And then okay. it got real. It, it just took got, over. Got popular. Popular during the pandemic because mm-hmm. wasn't nobody able to do anything. Okay. So that's when they then they turned into the celebrity part of. Yeah. It. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this is celebrity prank gone wrong. Get in here. Where'd you post me from? Chick Fil A. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you wait, done. Mom, Dad? Did you did you hear this? Michael B. Jordan dead at thirty five. Uh oh. 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 You're 35. Uh oh. You're playing. What? 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 No, what? See, that's just stupidity right there. Hmm. I mean, you know, you're trying to prank your parents, and your parents just came off a movie set with them, and one of the the the, the right. star of the the movie, he passed away. Mm-hmm. So I mean, that's just just stupid right there. And his apology. You know, Angela, like, she had to tap that ass. And I know you can't comment on it. Go ahead. Hmm. Are we showing the apology? Yeah. Okay. So, there was an incident in my home where, so I worked with Dr. Cosby a lot, and I had pictures of him and I in our home. And when mm-hmm. the thing went down with Dr. Cosby, my son decided that he wanted to post something and make fun of, because it's a picture of me talking to Dr. Cosby. Yeah. And I'm pointing down to him. And he's sitting out. And it was a posed picture. It yeah. wasn't, yeah. he said, it. he said, all right, stand here and then point down to me like you're telling me something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm doing it. So my son's like, yeah, I'm going to write this caption that I told you not to mess with those women. And I was like, oh, 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 mm. oh, hold up, Lou. Why would you do that? Just for some likes? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. this man the world I'm got in. you through college, whatever. Um, yeah, but why would you try to do that's a reflection of me, son? Yeah. It has nothing to do with you. And you are? Exactly. But and he, he kinda thought about it and he got it. Mm-hmm. Um he could have posted and I would never know. I don't know. Right. Yeah. Um, but it would have made its way back to me. But he had to think about it. And he was, you know, out of college. Yeah. So I mean here's a sixteen year old, and I know I said I can't comment on it, but I'm gonna comment on it. Mm-hmm. Never mind. Go ahead. Is it just too far? Is it just not knowing? Is it? It's like okay. My thing compass? is, no, he knows. I but he's trying to be like okay. He's trying to be like the, the environment that he's in, yeah, yeah. where there's no rules. Yeah. Okay. There's only academic rules. Gotcha. Right. Socially, we can get along. We can get away with stuff because we don't know socially. Yeah. Academic, yeah. they would never do any like cheat, etc. Get caught doing something at school that okay, way because yeah. that academics is what's most important. Yeah. Right. Now I got to socially. Connect with these people. If I'm not a, the number one athlete, if I'm not the star of a play, if I'm not yeah. on, if I, I got to get some kind of attention in this world mm-hmm. because everybody is famous and rich. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So how can I get my attention? Right. And exactly. that's when you, mm-hmm. when your kids Good are in point. this kind of environment, that's when you got to have a, a friend who looks like them and thinks like them, mm-hmm. who said, who's not worried about that status. Right, right. Who says, what's wrong with you, fool? What would you do if somebody did that to your mom? You tripping, man. What's wrong with you? Don't right. be doing that. Right. We all need that kind of friend. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And absolutely. a lot of these young kids just don't do that, don't have that friend in life. That's why you got to make sure your kid has like-minded kids 
who can recognize certain danger that that kid in that bubble might not recognize. Yeah. The kid, the kid who actually has to catch the bus. Because you keep in mind what that first thing said. Oh, you did a Postmates? Yeah. He can do yeah. Postmates whenever he wants. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So he's got a car, but he got a credit card. He yeah. do whatever he wants. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. where'd you order from? Chick Fil A. But yeah. I bet yeah. you, academics, he better bring home what grades he better bring home. Yes. Absolutely. So if he's doing it's that, that, standard, that I'm going to go ahead and I know he's okay. Whatever. Yeah. Right. Because mm -hmm. he's mm -hmm. in a school where he doesn't get hurt. He's this, that, right, right. and he's safe. He's, he's in, in our cocoon. bubble. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And now he does dumb shit like yeah, that. Yeah. I mean, ignorant. It's not yes. even dumb. It's ignorant. Yes. It's rude. But what do you feel about that, P? I it, it's wrong. thanks thanks it's yes, wrong. No. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of Cosby he has a tour coming up are you going to be involved with that at all yeah I'm writing his stuff right now no I don't know uh, I she, talked to him Sheena I said, was so adamant she goes Bill better give um Lou uh an interview she was down with him through the trial and all this oh, he wow. better he's do got some stuff he's still he's got, he's got he's doing some stuff now where he's still fighting he says once I get done with these then yeah, we're going to go ahead and do it. Yeah, some new allegations. Yeah, so once they get done with that, then they're going to go out. And I'm sure he's going to be smart enough to to select um, the right venues. My thing is, I believe strongly that he should just do a prison tour. Because you ain't got to worry about people coming in there protesting. You've been in that like-minded thing for over almost three years. You know those people. And you can help them in that way. Would they let well, him do it? I don't know. Because in some places, if you're a felon, you're not But he's not, not a, a felon. Right. No, he was clear of that. He's, he's not a felon. Okay. Yeah. He was exonerated. Okay. Yeah, he's not a felon. Mm. He's, you know, so wow, he look can... how you say that. Well, it's true. He's Clarification? not. No. So defensive. No, I'm just, that's just Your fact. arms folded? My arms been folded since day one. So, all right, go yeah, ahead. So, yeah, you're going to post his apology? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> said his mom put it on him. He got a whooping oh, with an extension cord. Did he really get a whooping? I had look to. at him. Yeah. Let's find out. All right, let's. Be, for taking part in it's such a harmful trend. I apologize to Michael B. Jordan's entire family, his extended family, and him directly as he is an idol of mine. And taking part in a trend like this is completely disrespectful. I don't wish any bad rem ramifications of this, of my actions upon his family nor my parents as they deserve none of the backlash. And I, I own this was a mistake and I hope this can be a teaching lesson to anyone else who uses social media as a tool and a source of entertainment to, to, to truly understand that your actions can have consequences that extend beyond you. I apologize for any hurt that, that my actions may have caused my, Mr. Jordan or my parents or any, anyone else who could have been involved in this. And I am truly, truly and sincerely sorry and i apologize thank you so much for your time and that would be the last time he uses his phone until he's 18. yeah there you go and chick-fil-a and that credit card all yeah, of that that would be the last time that's i think that is worthy of a two-year suspension on your phone hey. now that's hard no it's but not no it's not to me that's and now you know what's going to eventually happen right. i'm calling this now okay that michael b jordan is going to do a video with him yeah Accepting his apology, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, yeah, I see that. I see. And that. that's going to make him. But that blow fucked even up their whole plans when oh. they was the, the Angela and Courtney. That changed their whole night. Whatever they was getting ready to do. It was cruel. Do, yeah, from yeah. doing some dumb it shit like cruel. that. It was cruel. I mean, to the point where this man evidently didn't understand the depth of her pain when, when she lost her other coach. Yeah, Chadwick. Yes. That you would do that for a lot. Yeah. That's comedy to you. Yeah. Hey. So that means to me. You've been around way too many adults. Yeah. No, you've you been on that phone a lot, Lou. So, that's like his you source. said, you, yeah. I picked up on this from it already being done. So, I got a bright idea. I'm going to do my mom. Yeah. You know? Right. I'm going to prank my but mom. What I'm saying is dad. that you you evidently you you evidently felt that that was okay. I'm saying to what? You can tell he's socially awkward. You can see right. that. You can yes. see that. Right. With right, that, that and that's what happens to a lot of brown boys in private schools. Yeah, they yeah. are socially awkward unless they're a top athlete, and then they're still socially awkward. Yes. And that's yeah. why the little girls can get a hold of them and make mm -hmm. them feel a certain way and have them talking back to their parents a certain way because they didn't smell that that mm mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, that lasagna? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. It, it's just that at what point do you start? And that's why we're actually considering. Um,
at the school to where we have life lessons with Lou. Hmm. And one of the with you? Yes, one of the um, psychologists said, "Hey, you know." They, That's a new kids, segment. Okay. All the kids. So we're, we're scrapping uh, what's eating dicks. Well, life, I mean, life like, lessons with Lou. And, I like and that. So I can talk to the group of kids and, and talk to them. Mm-hmm. I mean, examples are there was a kid. I'm walking on campus and a kid is doing something he shouldn't be doing. And this is the brown kids sitting together. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I, hey, what's up, coach? What's up? What are you doing? Wait a minute. You don't know nothing about that. What's wrong with you? What makes you think your parents did not send you to the school to do that? Who are you showing off for? And then I'm like, I find out he's from another country. I said, your parents brought you here from another country. Would you do that in front of your, your grandparents? No, no. I said, hey, man, other people who don't look like you are watching you, and they think that's cool. I said, don't ever let me see you do that again, or you, you're going to have to deal with me. What was he doing? I'm not going to say what he was doing. Oh, Rolling up. Yeah. No, he, 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 was doing, he was doing what you do sometimes. I'm going to say, why are you doing that? You're too old. What you know about? He doesn't know anything about that. Don't say it. Yes, that. Throwing up gang signs? I just said don't say it. And the reason I don't want I you to say it. I was just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you blew that, P. <laughs> I was just guessing. I, I told know. you not to get. That's why I was telling him, oh, yeah. Oh. That's why your mic shouldn't be on. Damn. Who <laughs> you upset? Who well, yeah, because now it's, if it gets I... back, I've let somebody's business out. That's well, why I'm you're trying the to only you. one that's confirming it. You could have act like no, that I wasn't... wasn't the right answer. Shit. He was bringing in planes. Yes. My bad, Lewis. Can we edit that part? No, it's just a certain thing. I mean, it's just, no, listen, I get you. I get you. my thing is that at one point we have to step up as 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 men. <laughs> as brown people. Yeah, as brown men. yeah and, and, and step to these kids and let them know this is not okay. I know. I do it all the night. Even though you think it's okay in this environment where you feel safe. Right. Mm-hmm. Just like we have a little little travel kids, you know, six or seven, little fourth, third, yeah, fourth yeah. graders. Mm-hmm. Now, they little white kids in this world. We got one coach that's making them super tough. Uh-huh. He's got them put now. This is a, a controlled environment. Right, right. right now, this right. one little white kid thinks he's because we got a bunch of little brother kids. Mm-hmm. They think he thinks he's them. Mm-hmm. And I one time, the little kids, one kid said he's sorry, and the coach was like, "Don't say you sorry." Don't you? I was like, "Hey man, listen, he needs to learn how to say he's sorry." Yeah. Because yeah. what you're trying to get him to do, he ain't gonna be in this safe environment because mm-hmm. right. he'll have him throw the ball at the other kid and all that. Yeah. I said, "Somebody gonna hit him back." Yeah. And he ain't gonna be able to handle that. Mm-hmm. So we get these kids in this, these safe environments, and we try to make them thugs in this safe environment. Mm-hmm. You got to send them over to me. And it's just that we, at one point, then the parents <laughs> always want to know, well, why, am I, why is my kid? I love this thing Kobe Bryant talked about. Like everybody's talking about, came to him like, why you ain't playing? Why you ain't starting? You're this and that. And yeah. he says, parents need to stop saying that because it's the kid who needs to work hard. Yes. Right, that means right, I need right. to get better. Stop trying to have me give him something. Mm-hmm. And at what point are we as parents, and I'm sorry, like I know there's some stuff going on with kids, and right away I'll say, Desert, why isn't he playing? Something else is going on with your son. Right. There's nothing to do with his basketball. Right, 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 it's right. what's going on inside of him. Yeah. And that's what's happening with these kids and grown-ups. Mm-hmm. There's so much poison inside of us, we don't know how to regurgitate it. No, they do. They well, with violence. So, no, and, and, and through social media. It's just, I mean, just so Because that's just what... You can imagine how disappointed his parents are. Oh, Yes. She's hurt by that. That every example that yeah. we've given yes. you has been about class and education, and, 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 my, and you make that, that weak choice. Yes. Yeah. That's what frustrates parents yeah. is when a kid, you give him so many choices, choices, and he makes the bottom choice yeah. just yeah. so he can re- think and that's relating to his kid, to, cool. to his, his crew. Being cool. And, and they'll I, relate to you if you go high. Yeah, right. They'll be like, oh, man, look at him doing that. That's what we try to tell kids. How do you want your, your peers to relate to you, on the low or on the high? Yeah. And now she has to worry about not now. This is what like I can go back and it's like like Louis Farrakhan said to us. Now they look at us. This is how they look at us now. But he's not because. the only one in doing. I think it was a trend that there was other people doing that. Right, but but he, I guess that was the most yes prominent and popular. Yeah, when they said, "Oh, Slater, okay, yeah. his child. Let's let's let's. I'm gonna read the thing. I'm gonna yeah. read to, come on." And then it shows, and then. So evidently, you did post it. What was that one? Uh, he might have been going live. That that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so he was live on his thing. Maybe I'm thinking, yeah. But that that's why that's exactly why Will Smith said what he said to Jada. Because that time. he would have had a chance to think about it if he had just recorded it and then posted it. Right, right. So, right. I'm so he went live. So that's why Will told Jada, "Hey, don't be filming me unless I know," because that's. Yeah, that's how I sell what I'm selling. Right, right, right. Because yes. it was something that went on what last yeah. week where uh, uh, 
uh, was it Chris Brown? No, Drake had jumped in some chick's allegedly DM, invited her, flew, flew her out. And she had to, she claims that she had to sign an NDA. But when she gets in the house, she's videotaping him. Oh, that was Drake. Yeah. yeah, and so he kicks her out. Like, get yeah. the fuck out. Like, you're not supposed to be doing that shit. Yeah. You signed the NDA. A, she wasn't really a, that good looking. <laughs> well, he denied it right off the bat. Well, I think I think happened. those guys, a lot of those guys like those kind of girls. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, all right. Before we go, I did want to thank a few people who donated over the holiday. Thank you so much to Ira Lacey. To Dana, who has a little crush on Teeter. Aww. <laughs> How old is she? What's up, G? Uh, Gregory's no, desserts. Go get them. Gregory's desserts. Um, and to Prime. Thank you guys so much. Optimus Prime? For, um, no, no, I don't think so. <laughs> so please continue to support the show. There's the info on the screen. Um, and we'll get those. Yeah, and our season is starting. A new season. So well, no, the league. The show. Oh. <laughs> league. Season, a new Friday. season of In the Man's Let's World. Let's go. Yes. Hey, guys, please uh, donate. Thank you all so much. Happy 2023 20, to everybody. Yeah, happy New Year. We're back. We're going to go two, right. 2023. Yeah. I'm Lewis Dix. TDP. Jeff Arnold. What's the name of the show? In the Man's World. Tighten up your belts. All day. Peace. Hey, Code 3. <laughs>